I just heard a trumpet. Yeah, who's blowing (laughs) fucking trumpets out? (laughs) I actually don't mind. I I actually don't mind. Okay, I don't want to steamroll past Johnny's mama number five. Yeah. Yeah, that was was really good. That was really good. (laughs) (laughs) Um... No, that's it. He he topped whatever I did. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. gotcha. Credit where credit is due. But you're hey. not above being heralded in by trumpets. Oh, it's I was going to say, I don't cool. mind the podcast starting with a trumpet signifying mm. it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm kind of into that. Yeah, maybe so. a hear ye, hear ye. Johnny, maybe you could announce us like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, hear ye, hear ye. Tis Rocco Bodie featuring Kevin Bouchong. <laughs> Why? Now I'm doing it. I want you to do it. <laughs> you did it. Dude. We'll move past this. Bit. Well, Welcome to the Mega 60 War podcast, everybody. And I was just telling everyone here, it's very weird not starting the podcast with a plug for our tour. Yeah. Because the tour's over. We'll we talk it. about the tour yep. um, later. We'll, we'll, we got some stories from the road, I'm sure we'll get to. Um, yep. We Gas do have a ass. plug. I will say, though, we do have a plug, believe it or not, from a sponsor on this week's episode. Oh, shit. A very <gasps> special sponsor that reached out. But... I'm not going to, we're not dropping that plug yet. Damn. We actually have to save it and build. And when the podcast reaches its, pe- its peak, we will then reveal. Yeah, look sponsor, forward to it. Who I, I couldn't be, I, I think they might go on record the greatest sponsor we've ever had. They've, they, really? They've, they've, they've come around here and then, but wow, you know, now and now and then, but uh, they've, they've outdone themselves. So I'll, I will promote them later okay. and I will promote them with a tongue of respect. Um, and okay. just, uh, you know, it's so <laughs> great. When, you and say, it's so, you, I don't even know what this is about. Actually, I'm, I'm with you guys. Yeah. Watching. Yeah, I, no, yeah, I, have told, <laughs> I have told no one on the set what this is. No. I don't Johnny, know. You Very don't know? excited. Johnny might know. He, you know what? A he thinks he does. Respect. He doesn't know. He, you know, you think he does. Um, I watched the, uh, that just reminds me, uh, cause I was about to say like, it's so great when you can be honest about a sponsor. I really enjoyed um, I mean, not that we don't have the sponsors that we have on here. Typically, it's got to be something that we're like can get behind because we don't want to talk about something, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, something I can get inside. Yeah. Here, you know, here's a deforestation kit, you know, or something. Yeah, we don't that want that. Like, we don't want to talk about it. But it's really great when you're actually really excited about it, you know. Okay. Um, you know, people people talking in the chat about Mac Weldon, like we weren't excited about that. Dude, I still wear the shorts. Yeah. Oh, the, the, they gave the us metal? like shorts and boxers and stuff like that that I still wear. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. And you know, it paid the bills. It kept the lights on exactly. for a couple months around here. Exactly. Guys. So, yeah. you know, I, I you know, whatever. And fire machines is still funny. It <laughs> is. Anyway, um, <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed this weekend. I oh, we'll talk about the weekend in general. Finally, I I hadn't had I hadn't had a day off like by myself mm-hmm. in so long oh, that I savored every second of it. And and by that I mean did nothing. Um, but I yeah. did watch the bonus features on the uh, Oppenheimer uh, oh, Blu-ray, shit. and um, because I finally got to watch the 4K Blu-ray of that. Do they have bloopers. Yeah, they have the fucking funniest outtakes. <laughs> yeah. If the waves go past this, hit the hit that button. Oh, you mean this button? Boo. Oh, when he hits it, Ooh. <laughs> laugh track. It was a whoopee cushion. Oh, that's oh, not shit. that button. Wait, that's oh. Um, any kind of like how to build a nuclear reactor? They tell you just straight up. Here's it's ingredients. Like, here's, here's you have everything. this amount here's of plutonium. This amount of this you might and find that. this in your dad's garage. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's awesome. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna pick that 4K up. Uh, no, that no, but I really like. They interview Ald- Aldrin Oliver Einrich or Iron or whatever yeah, yeah, his I'm name sorry. is, uh, who no, played you, you got y- Young should, Han Solo. We should isolate that. Oh, that guy hasn't <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. worked since then. I haven't seen him in shit. He's in Oppenheimer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was a. Uh, he was a. Uh, um, um, right hand dude, uh, uh, Strauss's right hand dude that oh, he's no, talking wait. with. He, he, yeah, I have yeah. okay. I, he's got like a puffy kind of cheek thing going on. Yeah, he's handsome. Yeah, I'm just saying it's a little puffy. But anyway, <laughs> they interview him and uh, and he goes, it, yeah, it was awesome being in this movie. It was like an honor. <laughs> Christopher Nolan wanted me in this. It's great. And then he like sits there for a second and he goes, it is so awesome when you don't have to lie about this shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it That's fucking good. rules. Like he was so excited in the interview. It's so great. You don't have to lie about this shit. And people were like, was that a Star Wars comment or yeah. was that what was that a comment on? I mean, yeah. What else has he been up yeah. to? Tetro. He was in Tetro. Oh, did you guys see Tetro? No, Is that an American Zetrope production? Mm-hmm. Tetro. Almost, almost pronounced that right. Funded by wine, I heard. Funded I know, by wine. I like my wine. movies funded by wine. I know all about Tetro, guys. Yeah. 
Coppola, Coppola, recent Coppola joint. Tetro. I liked it. T hey, oh, Francis, Tetro. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said when we saw him at the we, cafe. Yeah. We'll, so we'll you, talk about that in a minute. We'll too. get to the yeah. cafe later. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. guys uh, visited. Um, yes. But anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, we're, we're, we, oh, yeah. Well, whatever. We can just get on with the podcast. Uh, we're here. Um, Sean is not here tonight. Um, it is a bummer in, in one sense yes. because I was planning for tonight to be, cause we, we've been streaming a lot. Actually, we didn't stream yesterday, but all Thursday night, all Friday yeah. that we were kind of like, what are we going to talk about? Like even my voice is a little bit gone and I apologize for that. That does but, happen if you just are in front of the camera uh, more yeah. than you're used to. Yeah. And also when you scream an Owl City song, that doesn't <laughs> help either. Yeah. But, yeah, I've but uh. Myself. The plan was, oh, tonight we could tell all the stories we wanted to from tour, talk about making the DBZ video, and like, and Sean, and that actually was like, yeah. Sean lit up a little bit, like, oh yeah, we cool. have barely covered any of that, and right. then couldn't make it tonight because yep. he found out there's another birthday that he forgot about. There, that yeah, was tonight there was another, and so that's that's just it. He can't come. No, Sorry. yeah, uh, no, he he got sick. <laughs> he got he's sick. just sick. Yeah, um, but regular sickness, not yep. special sick. Just yeah. you know, <laughs> but. A light at, at the end of every tunnel. Think about this. We all had that day off. Yep. And at least half an hour of the podcast would have been, oh my God, you guys, everyone's sick in my house. I had to wipe their butts. And <laughs> I love I you always to, go to wiping butts. I had to, <laughs> and he know. always gets pissed off. He's like, I haven't wiped a button in 10 years. They're like, all in like <laughs> grade school. All, oh, oh, my God, <laughs> oh my God. I had We ran out of Chef Boy RD and I had to go down. <laughs> we would have heard about that now. Yeah, now it's in the recycle yeah. bin. We just got <laughs> we burned through it right there with that little impression. That's, yeah. I think that's done. Done deal. Pal. And then the, we're gonna finally be able to get to the thing we promised every stream this weekend, but never got to gamer shit. Oh. <laughs> I've, gamer been, shit. I've been hyping that segment up for hours a hundred times per stream. Gamer shit. Tonight we're finally gonna get to it. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about that. No sports, no uh did you actually hear what Taylor Swift said? None of that shit. No. We're done. Steam oh, Deck OLED. You yeah, you better believe. Yeah, I'm seeing in the chat Mario RPG talking about yeah, all of that. All gamers shit. covering all that. Hardware. The gamers gonna software. Yeah, the gamers gonna be eating good tonight. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you're gonna be having gamer talk with Game's a side back on the menu, boy. Yeah, with a side of fava beans. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't know why I got cannibalistic. This is the number one <laughs> video game podcast on the Internet. Yes. According to Derek Acosta, mm -hmm. uh, who I cite for most of my. Yeah. 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 And he, we will reclaim the yes. throne tonight. Um, But in the meantime, how was your, did you guys enjoy a day off? Like, yeah, did I did. You, I did. Did you make the most yesterday. of it or did you just not do anything? Because that's that's. Yeah, I kind of didn't do much. I just tried, you know. To, oh, uh, sorry. Steve song. Okay, that was rude. I <laughs> sorry I interrupted. Go ahead. No, it was it was uh, nothing more to say really. I just did pretty much nothing. I tried to leave the house as little as possible. Yep. Yeah. Some days you just need to do that. I love doing that. Just <sighs> yeah. by myself, do nothing. Clean. Uh, oh, it was glorious, dude. I woke up at like noon. Um. Oh, and I had all the Thanksgiving leftovers. Oh yeah, I had my, some ham. Oh, my favorite thing every year. Sandwich. I made that big ass, bomb ass, dope ass Oof, uh, sandwich. Yeah. I'm talking turkey here, turkey leveled up to here. Then we're talking stuffing up to here. Then you get a little bit of mayo on there. Hey, we have any gravy left over? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, throw, Ooh, throw the gravy on there. Get some of that. Give me some of that cranberry shit. You're talking turkey? Yeah. <laughs> and then you fucking megazord that thing together. Oh. You, throw, you heat that fucker up. Yeah. Whoa, you're heating it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I heat it up in the microwave first with all the stuff, and I have it like a bowl of just everything turkey, and I just scoop it onto the fucking mayonnaise <laughs> bread. <laughs> Will you like mix it first? <laughs> Kinda. It's, oh, it's wow. All just there. Pulled chicken. Uh, so er turkey. Eric in, in the chat saying, How many times did you crank hog? Did you punish it raw dog Ooh, style? Three. 100 <laughs> oh. did three. 
minimum. Yeah. But <laughs> listen, I got a whole thing to talk about later. With that's that. why you do the sandwich thing with the turkey because it gives one hand is the turkey sandwich. Yeah, one yeah, yeah. totally you free. Dual, yeah, you can three sixty yeah. no scope. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. dude. Exactly. Um, this is gamer shit. Yeah, this is gamer shit, guys. This is a gamer <laughs> you, you podcast. You want gamer shit? This is real gamer shit. That's right part here. of that comes with the package. So yeah. you don't like it? Kiss my ass. You don't like it. <laughs> At the um, end of the show, we're gonna teach you how to keep your poop sock and your other sock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> separate. Well, you, so you don't mix them up. Don't want to mix them up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah. So you know, eat the turkey sandwich. I watched Oppenheimer. I was like, damn, that guy, that guy is crazy. Back to sleep. <laughs> uh, I woke up a little bit later. I played Spider Man again. Gamer shit is what we do. Okay. Um, I had not played much of Spider Man because that came out at a really bad time where it was like super busy, and then we went on tour. Yeah. Um, so I was able to play Mario. Came out the same day. Mario uh, Wonder. Yeah. But I was yeah. able to beat that because I played it. All it's the road. portable and easy. Yeah. But Spider Man, I hadn't. And truthfully, I I told you I played like a little bit of it, and my my review was kind of like, I'm having fun, but this is kind of the same shit. And I, I think I tagged on to that. Like, this is the most boring era of PlayStation. I still uh, believe the latter, but I have played a lot more Spider-Man. And I, I hit that. My favorite arc in Spider-Man I'm hitting now in the okay, game where, okay. uh oh, what's this new black suit that's helping me out? Uh oh, what the, the whole black suit Spider-Man arc is that was my Simbiot favorite when I was younger. Stuff? Oh, yeah. Okay. With that like watching the cartoon when I was younger, checking out the comics because of that and all that stuff. Now I've hit that part and I'm like, okay, yeah, this this kind of rules. Okay. okay. So uh is, is Eddie Brock showing up? I have I, I haven't, you know, I won't know? I won't spoil anything. Okay. But mm, yeah, I'm enjoying it much more than I did okay. in the beginning. My my habit for a little while there was I kept sitting down to play and I was I was in the same part where like uh someone was giving me a tour of the um their new like uh, facility like oh this science facility will help us i i think i was in that area for two <laughs> weeks because I, I kept going and it would be like oh i have to they want me to look into another lab uh, and then i'd fall asleep on the couch turn it <laughs> off come back the next day but um uh, but now now lab. that i'm further on and i'm doing the symbiote shit oh yeah it's fun nice. so i'll let you know hopefully i'll beat it in by the next podcast maybe or something like that but that game is, has been really cool so far um cool. Only thing I'll complain about, I guess, so far is I'm real mixed on. We already talked about Miles Morales. Yeah. We didn't care for his story. No, the story in, wasn't in, that good. The in, gameplay was fun, but the story was. Yeah, good. that's how I felt. Yeah. You know, whatever. Um, I, again, I'm not super far into this game, but I'm kind of feeling the same way where now Miles Morales in the movie in, um, you know, into the Spider-Verse, yes. that, that first into the Spider-Verse. I love that is my favorite yeah. Spider-Man movie. And yeah, I, I, I definitively mm -hmm. will agree that I think that's the best Spider-Man movie. Mm -hmm. Um, but in the game, I feel like there's like all this crazy symbiote sh shit happening with Peter and this drama with him and his friends and all that stuff. And then when I, when it flips me over to miles Morales, it's always like, once again, it's like the museum's going to close. If you, if we don't get a, the food truck, <laughs> it, they're not to raise able to funds have lunch for the unhoused the, yeah the to uh, be the served yeah the 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 museum for for the blind can't afford braille if you don't get the food truck they're on time i'm like give me back to uh I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't so feel like it has the, I don't feel like it has the drama. Yeah. It's still the too much goody two shoe stuff instead yeah. of like, let's throw some, you know, yeah. and then you go to Peter Parker's story and it's fucking Craven is showing up. Craven, the hunter is showing up. The symbiote is showing up. I, um, um, I got to a part in the game too, where I'm chasing someone who, uh, got the power of portals. Oh, okay. And this is one of those points in the game where it's like, Oh, only the PS five can do this. You know, there's a lot oh, of games that don't have that energy, but it's that thing where I'm chasing after her. she's and then she throws a portal at me. Oh, Boom. I'm into Antarctica. What the fuck? Yep. No loading, no oh, nothing. Wow. Yeah. This game has a lot of those oh, moments. Cool. cool. Um, this this game has a lot of those moments where it's like, I don't I don't think you could have ever done that on a previous yeah. console. So anyway, uh, I haven't beat it yet. So if Miles story adds gets a little more drama into it. uh you know, that'll, that'll yeah. be good. But right now I'm just kind of make like, him mad or something. So he snaps, you know, kill yeah, yeah. his aunt may or whatever. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. Have him get all fucking mean and yeah. Act a, Nasty. you know, a, pr 
appropriate for a, I don't a care. superhero this who has these socks and he you got all these <laughs> powers and you're everyone. you're yeah, yeah. making the food truck uh, run better on time helping yeah. out the na- <laughs> friendly neighborhood spider-man you're taking the role too serious miles <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, I just don't identify with that character, I think, because he's like a high school kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now is when I'm like learning about him and it's like, oh, maybe if I was reading this in high school. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And I do like that, again, this is a, one of the, you know, there, there's always different takes on Peter Parker. Yeah. Especially in the newer movies. Yeah, I don't really care for the Tom Holland one because, again, he's young too. Yeah, you know, yeah. Young, young sprat kid, yeah. you know, whatever. But um, I love those Sam Raimi ones, though. Yeah, and uh, Peter Parker in the in these PS4, PS5 games is like 25. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So even true. that, it's a little bit more, okay, you know, so maybe that's what it is. He's an adult too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Those he's two older movies. Guy. He's, yeah, he's an old guy. In the newer one, he's got a kid. I do yeah. like yeah. those movies. I think I agree with you guys as far as like Spider-Man content. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like... The best shit I've seen in forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, didn't they delay the third one? Did the third one. Got I think delayed. it got delayed because ever... everything like uh, for a while. I remember. Yeah, I remember they. Uh, it was the, supposed to be soon, right? It was supposed to be March, I think. Yeah. And then I remember that that when that second one came out, there were leaks or something with people saying, uh, "Hey, I know people working on this. There is no way a third one is coming out in, in March. That many months. Yeah. Like they were like, they, they barely finished this one to the wire and nothing is done for the oh, third yeah. one. It's a <laughs> Some, part, something like that. It's a part one as well. Yep. Right. Yeah. And this next one it is, is this part, part is the yeah, yeah, final yeah. part. I think. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. They said they hadn't even started the third one or something yeah. like that. So I wonder when the, when will ever? Yeah, I don't know. I only truly became a fan or even knew anything about Spider Man and Peter Parker uh, in the early 2000s when I read Civil War. Like as oh, that, okay, as that comic arc was coming out, yeah. Civil War went yeah. across like a bunch of different uh issues and different yeah. you know books. So I collected them all. Yeah, and that's where I like really was like, oh, okay, Spider Man's pretty dope. Yeah, huh. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you got the Iron Spider suit, and it had all the fucking legs that come yeah. out of it now. That's in the new game. I'm using oh, all that dope. stuff. You get more and more powers using yeah. that cool. stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and Fox is doing a new movie called Mistress Web or something. Sony. Sony's yeah, so, doing. Oh, Sony no, owns. Yeah. Sony owns all the like big rights to Spider-Man stuff. They yeah, bought that a lot so before Disney ever had it. They they yeah. bought it. Um, Madam Web. That's right. I had people reach out to me because every time they announce these. You know, we're getting a million comic book movies, get the Marvels, we get all this shit that I have no interest in. So I will always tweet, not gonna see the Marvels, <laughs> not gonna see whatever, Done a blank, yeah. Uh, the Flash, it not gonna see people off. Yeah, just by saying I'm not going, I never give my commentary. No, yeah, I never gone, say like it. it's pathetic or that. No, I just say I'm I I'm not going, I'm not planning to do that. Um <laughs> Which you know, is I, so I, funny. I like to play with the imagery, you know. I like to play with the like, well, you, it, people tweet what they're gonna do. I'm gonna t- I'm tweeting what I'm not gonna do. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but yeah, those always set people off <laughs> uh, a lot. But I got a lot of tweets after the Madam Web trailer dropped where people were like, You didn't tweet, not gonna see Madam Web Madam Web. What's what's up with that? What's up with that? Maybe I'll see it. <laughs> oh, you never know. I think I know why. <laughs> I'm not I I get going it. Going into it. Hey. I'm going to see it too. Hey, respect. <laughs> All right. Chat about that. After. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. Cool. So anyway, uh, gamer shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ga- let's just get, to, you want to, let's just get to gamer shit. <laughs> We're in it. That's... I don't want it to put it off any longer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's just do it. What have you been playing, Kev? I, uh, I've been playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom mostly, but I said before, I did buy one Black Friday deal. Oh, okay. And that was oh, the yeah. Metal Gear Solid Collection Volume 1. Yes. I, I, I didn't Almost get it got before, me on that one. And it's on sale now. And I'm like, okay, it's on sale. Maybe I'll get it. And I How was, ripped off did I? You uh, know, 20 bucks. I, I, oh. <laughs> uh, I bought it new. It's been yeah. sitting there in the shrink wrap. <laughs> was it sixty? Was it sixty? It, yeah, it was fifty nine ninety nine, oh. and now it's forty. I always so, worry because sometimes like they do one printing and stuff, and yeah, it's gone. And this is the, it's day one edition, and that's still the the one you can get. Okay, but I don't know if they are going to take features out or whatever. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I was just I was like, should I pick this up? And I was looking at reviews and stuff like that. There's one feature that I'm like, I have to own this okay. as a collector and a completionist. I mm-hmm. have to own this, and that is. For Metal Gear Solid 1, it lets you spoof a memory card and you can pick what saves you want of Konami games from PlayStation. Yeah. For for Psychomantis to see. Yeah. You can go, you can put 
Castlevania Symphony of the Night on there. You can put all these things on it so that he'll go, oh, you, you, I see you like Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Yeah, That's just a feature in there that you could just put yep. on a yeah. virtual memory card that was not on any of the other features. So on yeah. any of the other HD collections. So I yeah. was like, so now you can just pick and choose what saves you want for Psycho Mantis to see and comment on. I'm like, I have to get that. That's interesting. Yep. That you as a collector are like, I've never seen these cutscenes. Now I have the yep. chance now to. Now you have the chance to see all of them. Yeah. Not just like, oh, I hope I have that save from that Konami game on my system. We would have to had owned the game and had the save or at least rented the game and played it and had a save on our memory yeah. card to ever get that to work. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, I think I had one. I, I think uh, maybe he didn't say shit. I don't even maybe does yeah, he, he say, doesn't say anything. If I don't is think it he, Silent Hill, does he talk about maybe? I I don't know. I've only heard you like Castlevania, Castlevania. don't you? Yeah, yeah, and then when always, I played Twin Snakes, I, he said Mario Sunshine yep. or something. Oh, so they read that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's cool because yeah, you can put all of them. Absolutely every game save that they everything made a that they wrote a script for, for yeah. I believe, is added to the game. And then he talks forever. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, think I haven't done it yet, but that was a feature. I'm like, oh, cool. So that stuff is like you can pick and choose. I, I like cool. that a lot. So I got it. And I think it's been patched. The play date. Yeah, yeah I'm curious. Here. That's what I want to know because what I'm waiting on. Yeah, there were a lot of Black Friday deals. I really wanted it on Switch. I just thought that would be neat to have that on Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. Um, but. Then I kept hearing, um, well, there was the frame rate stuff, but then also like that none of them are on the card. Yeah, that, that, bum, that bummed me out that yeah. like, you know, and that's almost that's a, like a burden. Like I might as well just download it at that point. Yep. But, I, but I like having the thing, too. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't know what to do. And then I and then I was um, thinking, oh, I'll get it on Steam Deck. But then I was hearing that that wasn't booting up properly but that's what i'm curious about is anyone out there know have they updated that or is it working on steam deck or yeah. not i'm curious no, I so i'll get it on that i got it on ps5 yeah same yeah yeah i just wasn't sure i, yeah. I wasn't I sure the, if i was gonna be playing that at home i would rather i, I just heard the it. biggest gripe was these are just the versions from the last hg collection mm -hmm. there's nothing really other than little little tweaks and stuff like yeah. that yeah and some it, sounds weren't it's being just there right yeah, too yeah. um with Metal Gear 2, some sounds were really like not at the right yeah, pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd play it at like yeah. a higher pitch than they were supposed to. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like that stuff's been patched out. I, I read something on Twitter, but it, it didn't go into details. But I assume mm. okay. that the major shit is going to keep getting dealt with. It's Konami. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, a big team pushing that. Yes. Yeah, and it's in Delta. their best interest to keep these around too yeah. and mm -hmm. have them be. But anyway, uh, so if I hear, if anybody knows if it's like running good on steam deck i'll get that tonight i don't give a shit okay. yeah, i want it i yeah. want it um but maybe i will just with all the black friday deals maybe i'll do the ps5 and just that way have it on the shelf the perfect version. Yeah. well maybe it's not the perfect version i don't know um <laughs> it's crazy you beat wonder already yeah yeah, yeah. i haven't even started that. I, oh I, yeah i haven't played it in a while it wasn't that before tour it wasn't that long, and what's funny is <laughs> everyone every day <laughs> that i know who played mario rpg once a day, I've been hearing. I thought this game was a lot longer. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> wow. Like uh, kid brain. Johnny yeah, beat it. Brain. Yeah, my my brother was like, "Oh, I'm finally getting into Mario RPG. Got some time off. Finally getting into it." it, it was seriously, like a day later, he's like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm like eight hours into this. And I think I'm walking into one of the last. Uh, what's going yeah. on here? I'm like, it's so funny. As a kid, it was like an epic. It's like, it oh, like, this oh, is gonna take me months. Yeah, yeah. But, um, Not anymore. Now you guys can become speedrunners. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, but anyway, I haven't beat it yet. I've been very much enjoying Mario RPG. That was the thing I was like looking forward to the most uh, right. this this fall. Uh, but one of my favorite games of all time. And I've I mean, it's been completely charming playing it. But uh, I'm not super far because so many things yeah. came out or happened or whatever. But Johnny, I think I believe beat it. And I've been waiting to hear his talk about it. Gamer shit was going to be 50% that. So yeah. I want to know. <laughs> we need a Johnny update. I want to know, Johnny, what's up? Super Mario Ho RPG. It is the only game just for me. I love it. Um, I don't know like what I really have to say about it. I think yeah. it's like improved greatly. I love the graphics. Is your mic on? Are you good? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just make it sure. Um, yeah, the only gripes I have with it is I just don't really like the UI. I think it's too clean. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I Johnny said that the other day, and I generally agree. I think 
it was polished up to a degree that it it was it's not bad, yeah. but I kind of uh, didn't need. Yeah, it almost feels like a Persona game. Yeah, and I'm like, does it lose its like sprite appeal? It, it, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was like on the Super Nintendo, it was almost like delightfully clunky. It was almost delightfully weird in mm -hmm. every in every way. Yeah. Um, and I think they've re I actually think they've retained a lot of that through the game. Not to steamroll your review, Johnny, no, but um, but I agree with you that but the UI, it's kind of like you didn't need to go as hard. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Uh yeah, and the only other issue I have is uh they like made these beautiful cutscenes. Uh mm. just introducing like new characters yeah, and yeah. uh like even just like random bosses. Yeah. But it almost feels a a tad awkward because mm. there's no voice acting. Oh, okay. But the, like when Mallow's introduced, they have text at the bottom of the screen. I just feel like they could have taken a second and maybe added a small amount because Bowser, Bowser has voice clips. Huh? He goes like, rah, rah, and shit like that. Okay. No one else does. So it feels extremely awkward sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, like you I, like it, like you're missing something. Yeah. 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 I kind of like it. I'm going to disagree on that one. Okay. I'm going to okay. go. I like the, the, the purpose, uh, purposeful not voice acting. And I, I like, I do like those little cutscene nuggets that come in. They're great. Yeah. That was a really neat dynamic addition. Uh, but I, I, I hear where you're coming from. Just, I, I just think they're a tad bit awkward, but sure. I, I think they're okay. beautiful. Okay. Looking. You're valid. Um, you're valid. Yeah. Uh, I, the original Mario RPG, RPG is like one of my favorite games. I think it's like yeah. number two, uh, still, still there. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this. Uh, Overall, it sounds like they still did a good job. Yeah, they did a fantastic job. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's really it's hard to kind of review it because I'm just like, yeah, it's the same game. If you played it, you played it. Yeah. Um, but if you haven't, I would say you know give it a shot. I, yeah. I think uh, it's hard to say because I think if if you're like really experienced in RPGs, this might be like kind of passe a little okay, bit. Sure, but the, sure. But the charm oh, okay. is there, it's, and it's and wouldn't you say it's like kind of easier than. Uh, expected a little bit yeah but like, like the the battle system is so engaging i think it's the yeah. most engaging battle system ever like the time to tax and stuff mm -hmm. like for me yeah uh, i love it there's enough to keep you engaged okay yeah. that's cool. interesting but it is it, i think that's i i'm seeing now what appealed to me so much when i was younger though yeah is it really there's like um there's enough to dig into but it's accessible enough it's not that hard compared to you know what i mean i don't know even final fantasy when i was really young was kind of intimidating and this it, it's really inviting and um and it feels even i mean just e you know it, it's easy in a way that you can do it um yeah but there's more out of it if you want to um challenge yourself you know um there are okay. a couple bosses that are okay optional and pretty yeah. hard um yeah. but i'm just happy they d i never in a million years thought they were going to make this so, yeah. remake so it's such a treat to, you know, I do wish I'll just say currently my complaint, the UI thing is one, but I just wish uh, I love that you can flip between the uh, music. Mm. Oh, the I old music that, and the new music. Yeah, I oh, really, really love that you can do that. I didn't I, know that. That's great. You can. I just wish uh, you could do it with the graphics, too. I yeah. wish I actually wish um, the old one was on there. I still wish that version was playable yeah. on Switch. Yeah, yeah, that that would be sick. That um, one Halo game that did that spoiled us. So oh, Halo, Halo. I think Halo swap. One and Two both did that. Yep, so sick. And it was uh, pretty good on the first one, and they made it even better on the second one. Instant. It was boom, instant boom, when you boom. hit a button, you could flip to the old. Yeah, graphics. that wasn't. That was like the perfect version yeah. of that. So uh, Halo Two I, remake. I really like it. Oh, my only other complaint, Johnny. You might agree with this too. Maybe you forgot, but okay. or maybe you won't. I will say a big complaint I have the peace sign erasure. Oh yeah. Every character and no one's doing peace signs anymore what? now it's just like yeah. That's uh, all Miyamoto. And yeah, apparently Miyamoto has talked in interviews saying the peace sign is childish. Yeah. It's cool. Bro, you lost this so, yeah. yo Shiggy, we love you. Shiggy, what are you, <laughs> you doing? You lost this one. <laughs> Like the peace sign is cute. Let them do their peace sign. Yeah. You know how many photos we took during the VIP of our tour? Oh, I'm doing peace sign. Everyone, all of them. Derek yeah, is doing that. peace sign. Sean, we're all peacing. Yeah. Now. <laughs> but you know, nowadays you can't say peace. Oh, me and I guess I'm not allowed to say peace anymore yeah. in today's <laughs> world. Um. No. Anyway. No. I. I. Uh, he woke up and chose hate today. Yeah. Instead I guess of peace. That's what it's all about. No, uh, but you know, that's a little, little complaint, but yeah, 
great. I can't wait to like go back to it. I got massively sidetracked because typically I like to be playing like a console game at home and a portable game when I'm out, you know? Yeah. So I've been playing Mario when I'm here, but then I got sidetracked because I did get the new Steam Deck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. When we were on the road. With well, the removable case lining. This will be, this is kind of a segue into tour stories too because we yeah, were on the we, road. We got this from the tour van. We were, we yeah. were in the Arizona desert <laughs> going, hey, um, Kevin, could you help me um, get this? Like, maybe we'll both get. Yeah, because it's limited. There was a limit. There, they they released new OLED models yeah. of the of the Steam Deck, but then there was a limited edition, uh, transparent shell Ooh. version with a uh, fancy case and other stuff. And I was like, maybe Kevin, you can try to get it, and I could try to get it. One of us, yeah, make, yeah, it, yeah. it doubles the odds. Yeah. Um, because I don't mean to be over dramatic, but if I don't get the new one, it, the the limited edition one, I will die. That's not over dramatic. Yeah, no, and no. so that's Kevin, perfect, Kevin was so nice. This is gamer shit. Kevin was so nice and was like, "Sure, man, I'll, I'll help, help you." Out. And you, you want to say what happened? Yeah, we we both ended we up both got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I turned to Kevin. I'm like, like, "So you're you're getting one for yourself or to help him?" And to I was help, like, basically. Everyone else in the van was like, oh, have fun, Rocco. <laughs> we're driving through the fucking Moab desert. Good we luck. Were, we're in the middle yeah. of nowhere. Good luck with and, two and bars. And the time difference. We we're like, we're about to hit a different time zone. Yeah. Right when this goes up. <laughs> so we had to make sure we were oh. on it. I got to hand it to you, though. You guys were like c communicating back and forth and trying these little hacks. Yeah. Because yeah. the site was broken. The site was completely broken all, at first. Yeah. All their little hacks and pokes and it prods worked. and testing the network. They fucking figured out how to do it. And then. Yeah. Well. I'm going to give a shout out because yeah, it, it was like, Oh, I got it in my cart. I'm going to check out. Oh, it's broken. It's broken. It says try again later. Try again later. Try again later. What's going on. Oh, Oh, it now it's just sold out. Okay. And I'm like, I've been, I've, this ain't my first rodeo, bro. I, I wonder if it's going to come back once it's fixed. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Added it to cart. I'm all the way through. Oh, now it's telling me I've tried too many times. You come back. Come another back one. later. Oh, that's the yeah. Worst. It's like, like, I don't want to see that. What the later. fuck? I want to give a shout out tour sport you're in the twi in the Twitch chat. Oh. Yeah. They tweeted at me because I, I complained on Twitter, which is always a good thing. Yeah. Good things always come out of it. I complained on Twitter. I was like <laughs> trying to get the new steam deck, but when does, when is later? Yeah. Like it's how, says how, come when back do I have to come back wins later and tour sport on Twitter said, I'm testing everything on the site. I've tried everything. Apparently if you add a game to your cart, it kicks you right through. Yeah. Throw a game in your to cart. Check out. You'll and go you'll be there. done. And it worked. <laughs> it worked. I bought. I went on there. Bought the on the oh on the Steam store. Bought the first thing that came up, which was yeah. What game? Pizza Possum. <laughs> I got the Red Faction Collection because legitimately I like those games. Oh yeah, really? you picked I, a game you wanted. I, I wanted that game. And sure enough, hit cart went right through. Kicked past all the errors. Okay, everything looked correct. Yes, purchase. You're done. Nice. So we got the OLED oh, Steam shit. Deck Limited Edition. You can see there it. it is. You could see right through it. You needed you some see. light. What am I doing? What am I doing behind this thing? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> I saw that. Oh. You can see through the screen because yeah, it's transparent. Oh, you oh see through the God. controller. Look at that. I mean, you can see the battery I, in the back. I am so uh, uh, transparent device cucked. Yeah. I love clear devices. Yes. And it kills me that they did a uh, analog pocket. They did those mm -hmm. clear, clear ones. Analog. Oh, I wish yeah. I would have liked They did a whole run of clear ones. What do you think of Atomic Purple? They yeah, look sick. Like the Game Boy Color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the best the one. The clear but kind of color. Because yep. they I did like one clear, of those. but yeah. I do like the color. You know, yeah, tint. they did but, ever, uh, so many colors when uh, Analog Pocket did the clear. Ones. Oh, they did? They did like green. They did, they did purple. I'm going to pick one of those up they eventually. Did, they did uh, oh. smoke. So that just clean? came in like a smoked, yep, yes, a clear, this which a, isn't perfectly yeah. clear. It is kind of like they said this yeah, is a yeah. test That's for cool. like how popular different colors would be and yes. trying out different things. Yeah, yeah. I like and they the started orange. out with smoky clear, which is one of my favorite handhelds. Um, and, then, and then the accent orange, it really fits. Yeah, they, it's got the it's got the valve orange box vibes. Um, the only thing with analog pocket that I got to say uh -oh. is that it does bug me i i think that the that device is incredible yes. i have so much fun it looks just great. loading up yeah. random ass game boy games on it playing it whatever and the screen is so good but they keep doing it as this limited thing 
get it in one second or it's gone. And it's like, yeah. Thing. And they keep doing it where it's just like, when when will you be able to just stock like a normal one and just have it in the store? Yeah, they keep doing the and, that's and the, what I'm gonna the, buy. One. The clear ones sold out and that's gone. So then they did another one, Garrett, just like a week or two they were ago. Just colors that were like, just different colors, yellow, yeah, okay. purple. They weren't whatever. clear. They were just different colors. But again, yeah. gone in one second. It's yep. just like, I, what's going on here? I don't. Yeah, they keep playing that low production. They can um, only make so many so fast. So I think everyone thought the same thing was going to happen with the new Steam Deck. The limited edition one. Yeah. And even reviewers were like, Valve wouldn't give, they gave me one, but they would not even show me the the limited one. They would not do it. And then that's what's weird is then that was in stock for, for like days yeah. afterwards. Interesting. So no one knows if it's just like they were being cool and made a bunch or if the demand just wasn't there. Yeah. I don't know. But um, anyway, I've been playing it. Um, you haven't opened your, you haven't looked at yours or anything. Right? No, you no, 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 no. Um, it's mint in box. It's yeah. it's really cool. Obviously, the OLED screen looks great. Th- this is the update the Switch OLED should have had, where like all they did on that was change the screen. The screen looks awesome, but unless you're playing portable all the time, you got nothing out of that update. It, 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 right. And everyone's everyone's hope was that oh you know oh, the game will run a little better, oh, a little smoother, yeah. oh a little you know better. This is a little better. That's a little better. And all of those things they did with this where it's just like, oh, the refresh rate on the screen, a little higher than before. Oh, the battery, uh, a little better than before. It's lighter. It's like for sure lighter wow, than the old one. okay. Um, despite having a bigger screen and all that stuff. So I'm just oh, it's like, actually a bigger screen? Um, Less bezel? They, they just killed the bezel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it actually goes to, I'm playing, I've never played Halo Reach. Oh, I don't want to fill the, oh shit. That. But um, <laughs> I had the Master Collection just from, I had that in my library yeah. and I was like, oh, I'll play this. And I realized I'd never played the campaign on Halo Reach. So I'm like, oh, I'll play this. And I don't really understand what's happening. I it's like, that's the one where all four <laughs> of the guys are like, Master Chief, I that hate mother. This guy. No, that's Halo 5. Oh, oh that's Halo 5. Okay. That Master Chief broke the fucking law. We got to take this Yo, son of a bitch down. I'm going to fucking shove this hammer up his ass. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> yeah, um, they hate Master Chief in that one. But uh, yeah, but anyway, it's cool. I have, uh, But yeah. The screen is really cool. All those updates are really nice, but I will say the old Steam Deck was supremely awesome too. Yeah. So I don't think there. this is so like crazy. I, like it's all, all these updates are like, I'm I'm so happy I got this, but there it's not so, it does, it, it's not like the old one was bad. Yeah. So it's still they, for sale. They price dropped those old ones so much that oh, I'm dope. like, if if cost is any option at all, I, I would just get one of the lower ones. I don't think you're, I don't think you're compromise, compromising it so much that mm. it's like, oh, oh, I got the old shitty one. Like, like these are nice updates, but I think the old one still rules. Yeah. So I would, I would just get the. I am definitely more steam cucked than I ever was before since the Steam Deck yeah. came out. I love it. I love it to death. Um. So I would just say, if it's a matter of cost, get the, get the, get a refurbished one. They sell them themselves. Um. Oh, you know, interesting. I I, would. I, I think it's definitely yeah. worth it. Um, but I don't think it's like so drastic that you like, no, don't look at the old one. Just get the new one. I would I would yeah. um definitely consider any version of it. Um I got it to play all my favorite uh PC games yeah. at home because I don't have a PC at home. Mm, me neither. Mm, mm. Uh and then yeah, same. you know, I was excited not for it being handheld, but to dock it. I got the dock mm-hmm. and everything. And then uh Fucking Quake came out on PS5 for free. It was basically remastered. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, for, and, and you know, I picked up a limited run version on the Switch. And then Quake 2 came out. And it was like, all my favorite fucking PC games are, coming are out just Switch coming out on, yeah. on other consoles yeah. that's that the, I have. That's one thing I did get for Black Friday is all those games were on sale for Switch. So I just bought them all. All the Dooms, oh, all the Quakes. Yeah. Oh, that's Duke cool. Nukem, that's I just cool. put them all on there because they were uh, a couple bucks each. I was going to say, too, I think there was a Steam sale on the Yakuza games. Where oh. it was, where I think it was like all of them for forty-seven. Yep, something that sounds all right. Less than the price of one full-price game, you could God have damn. all of them. Yeah, like you're set for life at that point. Yeah. Like those games are so great <laughs> and so engaging big. and yeah. and big that like you know for fifty bucks, you can. I mean, you're you're set forever. Uh, <laughs> my God. That's I think my most anticipated. Uh, Is that new game. new like a dragon? Infinite infinite I, wealth. I I have it. Oh, like a dragon. I already have that on my Steam Deck. Yeah, it yeah. was like a few bucks at yeah, one yeah. point. 
That's the last um, RPG I started, and I have not finished it. Mm. But hopefully well by the time... It. Yeah. Well I, every once in a while, I come back to it. I, that is one of those games that I have still... Like every four or five months, I'll sit down and play like two or three hours of it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I've streamed it a lot too. Yeah. I think that's helpful. Yeah, uh, it's a chill game for streaming because it's turn based. Yeah, you know, I yeah, can yeah. Stop and bullshit with a caller or whatever, and then yeah. get back to it. I I will die. I will die on the hill for turn based combat. Oh, I'm oh. so with you, dude. Oh, well, now it will. That will always be my shit. <laughs> um, you know, they. I will say they updated when they updated FF7 remake. Of course, I was the guy going. I miss the turn based, okay? but I thought they actually found a good. It was fun, yeah. A I like good it, yeah. meeting in the middle thing on that. So I dug that. So therefore, I am looking forward to the new um, FF Seven Rebirth or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I think that Infinite Wealth is. Oh, I think when I get, I'm gonna the need new... to take some time off when that comes out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, when I get the new uh, Final Fantasy Seven Part Two, mm-hmm. I think I'm going to start that on hard mode. Because you felt the f- the first one was a little too easy for you? Yeah, I just really? feel like that game... I feel like the new Square RPGs kind of play themselves if you just mash X. Oh. It's like, yep. Yep. Oh, it's my time to do it? All right. He did huh. it. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In certain fights. Certain fights, you got to like, okay, I got to start using Materia to counter this yeah. fucking poison or whatever they keep casting on me. But for the most part, like, I just felt like, oh, wow, this is like really dumbed down. To where... Yeah. When I was younger and I got a Japanese RPG, I was intimidated. I was like, because yeah. you said like Final Fantasy was kind of a lot for yeah, you. Yeah, it seemed that way. Same. Back in the day, yeah. <laughs> and my first one was seven. You know, yeah. I was in high school going like, I think this is too many yeah, game mechanics yeah. for me to manage. And then like I learned how that format worked. But even the newer uh, uh, Final Fantasies, I just feel yeah. like, oh, I don't even, I don't even want to bother. This is the first huh. time I've like fell off of that franchise. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. with this last one. I played what well, what was the last one with the four boys pushing a car? 15. Yeah, 15, 15, 15 16 yeah. I never got. You know, I got I got a couple hours into it and I played the demos and I was really looking forward to it and then I was just like, "Oh, I don't I don't think I care." Huh. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I had more fun with the online, you the, know. The 14. demo came out for 16, you know, yeah, 16 didn't look that appealing to me. Then the demo came out and everyone I know was like, Okay, that demo was kind of amazing. Like, I changed my tune. I played that demo and I was like, I- I'm still not moved by that. I don't know what anyone's talking about. Yeah. There's some cool stuff, but didn't do anything for me. However, my brother, my brother and I have been on the same page with Final Fantasy forever. Mm-hmm. He ha- he loves and hates the same ones as me generally. He actually played and beat 16 and he said, That was a worthy game. You you will love it. Okay. You should play it. I was like, Really? He's like, give it. It deserves your time. So I think like over Christmas break, I'm going to yeah. play. Uh, I, I don't have time right now, sure. but I think when we have like a little, you know, break or whatever, and I just want to be lazy. I think, I think I'm going to play that. Okay. Yeah. And I'll let you, I'll let gamer shit will return <laughs> and we will let you know, you know, the Th- this, verdict. this latest release of Final Fantasy and Street Fighter are the first time in my life I have not picked up those franchises oh, really oh, street fighter oh yeah you, you know it's funny i didn't either it's funny because street fighter 6 um they announced it they showed it the, for the first time and all that stuff and it was like wow great job like yeah. seems like they learned from their mistakes with five but added like an open world and added this and that and all these things that were like damn this looks awesome and no one i know picked it up i know like it was like yeah <laughs> even i was planning to play it yeah and then didn't it come out at the same time as something else or something? I think maybe the Zelda. Yeah, maybe it was around Zelda it time. Was, it was yeah. around that time. And I just knew it's like this is another game. It's yeah. going to sit sealed. It, it's maybe still, yeah. eventually I'll, I'll, I'll pick that up. The I, world mode or the sorry, the world map yeah. and the story mode sounded fucking cool. Yeah, it looked really, really neat. But I just didn't. Yeah, yeah. I felt bad about that. I, I like that they took it where they did. I feel like I did not reward them for doing that. <laughs> but anyway. Um, we should take a minute. We, there may be more gamer shit. Yeah. There may not be. Maybe that's it. Who knows? Okay. But before we continue, we oh, should yeah. do give a little bit of a plug. Yeah. And we're going to plug ourselves up front. That's right. We've been doing here at Mega 64. It's been Black Friday weekend, Cyber Monday oh, weekend. We're almost there. Um, Cyber Monday is tomorrow. That's right. And I want to let everyone know tomorrow... We are doing a very special stream, a Cyber Monday rummage sale stream. Yes. Um, 
uh, here at our headquarters, we are we went into our vault and found a bunch of rare stuff that we are going to list on our store mm -hmm. in real time. So like we're going to go through stuff. Hey, uh, here's this poster that I think we had this at an event in 2013. Yeah. How many we got? Yeah, we got two of those. Okay, They're okay. on the store right Boom. now. You know, um, here's a rare DVD out of print. All right. How many we have? Three on the store right now, you know. If your finger's on the trigger, if you're ready to buy over at shop.mega64.com tomorrow, yeah. you could find some rare back-issued yes. items that have not been available for years. And maybe you're a collector and you're hunting that stuff down. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you've messaged Kevin in the past. This is your chance. It could come up yeah. in could, the could show. Be there. Yeah. So, so check that in. out. That's tomorrow starting at noon on all of our various streaming sites that you're watching right now. Um, also, as you know, even prior to that, we have been doing Black Friday stuff and all that. Um, and thank you everyone for picking up some stuff. We put out our new Blu-ray, uh, the Mega 64 in five minutes, Blu-ray featuring all of our in five minutes videos, that whole se uh, mm -hmm. series of sweeted videos that we Look do. Look at that. Bringing, home, bringing anime and video games into homemade live action. That's been something, our biggest video series maybe that we've ever done. All of them on that Blu-ray with hours of extras, commentary, you name it. Um, by the way, we had like we did like a ultra mega edition, um, maximum energy yeah. edition. Oh, that's I right. I think there's like literally two. La like it's driving me crazy. There's like one in size large and one in size medium or XL. I think, and then that's it. Yeah. Just and, a few of those single sizes. It's killing me because I want to market as sold out, but for some reason those won't like, <laughs> I think someone two. got them and then canceled it and then <sighs> it, We need you internet soldiers at home right now yes. to help out. These are 100% handcrafted bespoke <laughs> You geese. saying bespoke. You, they're you, you they're say, bespoke oh. geese that are crafted by the hands of Sean and myself. We streamed it on Black Friday, and yes. we're going to be continuing to make more throughout the week mm -hmm. and sending these out custom. Yeah, please let this sell out for us. Yeah, we want to be done. We want to say sold yeah. out, but yeah. the two are sitting two. there, and they won't be the they won't be there on very long. Someone in the chat Limited. has to buy one. That's it. Yep. I'm not continuing until I get. Them <laughs> yeah, out. I put my foot um, down. I guess that's it. Wasn't there a stream? Didn't that happen? No, I'm not. Whatever. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, get all that. But I will say. A handful of things did sell out. Okay. And we did get a lot of feedback because we were trying to do no pre-orders. We got all this stuff just like we're going to ship it by the holidays and all that. You don't have to wait till next year. Any of that crap. Mm, sure. But we did get a lot of feedback yesterday that were like, I could not get the size I wanted for the Cyber Monday shirt or the Black Friday shirt. I couldn't get uh, Mariel's new hoodie, um, the, <sighs> uh, any of that. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to, if it's okay with everyone, we are going to put up a pre-order for those for people who missed out. Okay. Um, okay. A second printing. Pre again, you will probably not get them by the holidays. You'll probably get them after. Yeah. But, but again, we're learning from our mistakes. We're trying to get them out as fast as possible. Um, if you're interested in that, you'll hopefully get it, you know, in the next four to eight weeks we're ho is what we're aiming for. Um, but if that's okay, if you, if you are okay with waiting a little bit, mm -hmm. the pre-orders are up shop.mega64.com on all those items. So, um, pick those up. If, if you, you missed out, now's your chance. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Keep tuning in. Like I said, tune in on our cyber Monday stream should be fun. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be never done blast. anything like that. Yeah, so it's we'll going to be cool and weird, but I, I like, I like doing like random, like here, yeah. this item, boom, yeah. go for it. That's yeah. going to be awesome. We'll see how it goes. Um, and a trip down memory lane for yeah. some of you. There's uh, going to be some some stuff from patrons. a long time ago in this. Yeah. Um, okay. Are we so, talking about any other plugs or that's all? For there is a sponsor I want to plug. Oh, okay. But I'm thinking, I'm, let's wait. Let's wait. Okay, yeah, let we'll the wait tension build. We could talk yeah. about the tour if yeah. we're done with gaming. Yeah, yeah that's all the game that's stuff. That's all I, the gaming I, I can think of. Yeah, yeah I'm not, I already talked about Spider-Man. I already talked about... You, you know, know me, fun. it's Resident Evil as always <laughs> um really no phantom pain stuff no nah, kind of done with that oh after you feeling okay all buddy? summer 
<laughs> oh. See, I, I'm telling you, I feel bad. I don't want Sean to be sick. I obviously hope he's okay. Sure. But if he had been here, all that gamer shit, how, how much interruption would that have been? We would have gotten, <laughs> oh, my kids love Spider-Man because we, that you can change the soundtrack to t- Taylor Swift and she just re-recorded, oh, you said it she just re-recorded Reputation and <laughs> we're, that's coming out. That just got announced. They're going to redo the Reputation album. And, and I have this bracelet and... It broke in the lobby oh, of the Westin in Denver, but I put it back together with duct tape in the room. He would have been like, <laughs> how, long is, how long is Spider-Man? Oh, campaign's about 15 hours. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry, we Sean, but when you're not here, I'm on any of that. You get fucked with. Yeah, there it is. Sorry. Um, Be well next you time. Get goofed on. <laughs> you. This you is healthcare in America. Right? <laughs> That's what happens. Anyway, um, but yeah, segue because we did talk about again trying to get the Steam Deck in the in the um Arizona desert. Yeah, it was like middle of nowhere. You oh, did oh, it though. Boys. Oh, by the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should say though, we did uh right before it was gonna hit 10 a.m. Yeah. Pacific time. It was 11 a.m. for us in Arizona. Yeah. Right moments before our tour manager, Jay, was like, we're actually going to pull into this uh, gas station. And get gas right So now. we will stop by that point. Yeah. It's like, okay. So me and Kevin are like, get out of the van. We're standing in the middle we're of like the <laughs> desert. <laughs> we're like, like their phone. Okay. You, do you have 5G? I have 5G. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready? Re- reload. Reload. And I felt really bad because right when it was hitting 10 a.m., that was when Jay walked over. Hey, we're going to go inside to get some snacks. I'm going to leave the keys with you guys. If you want to go yeah. into the van, Jay, not now. <laughs> Jay, not now. No, I'm just going to. Oh, I'm um, going to leave the keys if you wanna, with you. Yeah. Um, can I just hand the keys to one of you? Uh, not like, now, Jay. It, it is literally, no. it is, it is literally like five, four, yeah, it's three. <laughs> and it's like, hey, God, can I leave the keys with you? Get the fuck out of here, Jay. <laughs> Stop. Drink. I can't get in. I can't get in. I can't get in. Anyway. Jay experienced right. real gamer shit. <laughs> I do feel that was a game. I had a gamer moment. I will confess yeah. to it. Um, We're like, Jay, imagine there's a guitar and it's going to be, you You have the option to buy it and it, you've wanted it your whole life. Well, for the month that you've heard he, about it, you want it so bad. He really, it was, it was seriously 959 and the, <laughs> and the, and the small hand was about to hit me. <laughs> hey, uh, what do you guys want to do with the keys? Can, Jay, no! No! Poor Jay. His job is essentially like corralling the six of us yeah, to be yeah. on time for shit. Yeah. <laughs> Constantly. He does a like, great job. Oh, he, he does, does a great job. Awesome job. He, he really he does. He is so good so at So I what felt he does. bad that I did have to. But we test him sometimes. Yeah. From, from sometimes moment. he's like five minutes and I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me dig through this crate a little uh, <laughs> Well, anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, but we, that all worked out. It all worked out. That was great. Uh, but. That that drive was amazing in many ways because uh, we didn't, um, and we'll talk about all kinds of tour shit, but yeah. it was amazing because we were in the Arizona desert, you know, um, was, wait, was this, did, did we get, was the Flintstone thing right after that or was no. it the day before? It's the day before. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the Flintstone thing was right after we left the Grand Canyon. We mm-hmm. did not even know that was there. Yeah. We just drove by and we're like. Oh so, shit! Is that where it is? So yeah, this is why this you. is why yeah. Jay this is why Jay is the best tour manager ever because he's always he will plan stuff on the fly. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. Like we're going this way, we're going that way. Oh, I didn't know that was going to be open. We're going to stop there, and I think we'll stay there for the night because when we wake up tomorrow, we got the whole morning to check that out. And mm-hmm. like he and yeah, and a lot of it we won't even know. So I didn't know until um you know we're, we're leaving. We're, yeah, we're on our way. Oh yeah, we're on our way into Arizona. I think we're going to I think we're going to stay at the this lodge by the Grand Canyon. I think we're going to stay there and it's like like the Grand Canyon like are we going to see anything cool? I don't know. Stayed at these lodges but it's at night and it's pitch black. Yeah. Oh, we're out yeah. like the we, woods. We rolled up in the night yeah. and we knew there was like oh here's a scenic offshoot. Yeah. Here's a scenic offshoot. But you can't see anything. Mm-hmm. It was and so dark. It was no so mood. dark. It was the middle of nowhere. And so yeah, we got into the Grand Canyon in the middle of the night. So we didn't yeah. see the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Yeah, and so we had the discussion. Yeah, and we kind of talked about this on our Black Friday stream, but it was just like, wasn't planning on doing this, but I think I'm waking up at dawn. Especially the the woman at the front desk yeah. is like, it's oh, the yeah. most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, and and they, by the way, they also at dawn um, um, or early in the morning they they um, serve uh, breakfast on the ridge of the mountain where. It's the best hot chocolate you've ever had in your life. It was you sold me twice. So fucking good. You sold me twice. Um, but anyway, uh, she knew her audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we woke up early and went out there. Go figure. It was. I mean, oh my god, it was it was it was amazing. 
We had the breakfast. I get to the part where everyone wants to hear about the hot chocolate. They made their own <laughs> custom cream. Oh yeah. Put it at the bottom of the cl- cup with like f- actual like hunks of chocolate, chocolate, their own chocolate chips. Yeah. It was Belgian there. hot yeah. chocolate. Mm-hmm. To yeah. Be specific. And, and then they gave you their own hot chocolate that you dumped in there. Yeah. And it was like in a little teapot or whatever. And you yeah. poured over into the cup over everything else. Yeah. So good. did everyone at your table? Because Kevin sat. With I got us. yeah yeah. I sat with Sean and Garrett. Yeah, we and sat at our different groups at different tables. So everyone at our table, when Kevin was pouring over his yeah, gourmet like, chocolate mm-hmm. into the whipped cream and chips, yeah. yeah, everyone was like leaned into the table, like very observant and going, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, not at my table. Oh really? No, Derek and Johnny didn't give a fuck. They didn't appreciate. <laughs> no, they were oh, like, man, we got. How we got to be healthy. I'll have a piece of fruit. I'm like, all right, sit over there. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of us were on a health kick this tour. Yeah. Well, not when I'm told they have a rare hot chocolate at the rim of the Grand you Canyon. Gotta you got to splurge. Health is out go the crazy. Window. Yeah. No, um, no, but I did want to try more unusual stuff. They were yes. like, they were like, yeah, we have, you know, the traditional breakfast stuff, but then we have like, um, we have like cod, like a certain type of cod yeah. that we serve. Mm-hmm. Oh, they had a crusted. trout it was, too. It was kind of like some Native American kind of like dishes and stuff. Oh, okay. Like we have yeah. this, we have that. I was like, yeah, give me that. And it was all actually really good. Yeah, that, that, that food was really good. That was the fanciest restaurant we ate in yeah. on the whole tour. Yeah. I'm that? not saying yeah. that was the best meal, but like but the, it probably that, was, the yeah. Grand yeah. Canyon like the Lodge yeah. on the rim. Does anyone remember the name of the lodge? I don't Ooh, remember. No, I don't remember. It was the Yucca House across from it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> But uh, that lodge was the fanciest by far. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, seating and everything else. Yeah, it's I funny felt because underdressed. when I asked her about that, it was like, "You th- think we should have breakfast there?" The woman at the ca- the front counter where we yeah. stayed, she was like, "No, that's the place to go because uh, because every other type of meal we have here is like fine dining." I was like, "Really? Reservations?" Yeah, yeah she's yeah. like, "It's all reservations and fine dining. Eating there for breakfast is like your kind of your, your best bet." I was like, "Oh, okay." That kind of yeah. surprised me. It's Still fancy as hell. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, it was super fancy. Yeah. Um, but it was great. Um, so the Grand Canyon was really cool. And then, yeah, driving away from that was like already had the best morning of my whole life. Yeah. Which, by the way, I put up a video um, on my personal YouTube channel on the Rocco Bodie channel of us hanging out at the Grand Canyon. Um, yeah, doing some crazy shit like yeah. like <laughs> going to the edge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I freaked Kevin out. I I didn't hear the commentary while I was on the edge yeah, yeah. of the rock looking over. But then I watched the video and heard you uh, the, the fucking Looney Tune <laughs> fucking crack. It's broken and, right where you're standing. And you went yeah. beyond it. Oh my I'm God. so you know, I like it was cool for me to like look over and see the world like wrap around you like a VR headset. Yeah. But it was even cooler to hear the fear <laughs> the in your voice <laughs> watching that. I like I'm following the logic here, Kevin. When you say Looney Tunes crack in the mountain, I believe you're referring to in like, a Looney Tunes cartoon when the mountain when the ledge would yeah. crack yeah. and you think the ledge is going to fall off and yeah. the ledge stays in the air while the mountain falls off. <laughs> yeah. I was I was I'm following. thinking more of the thing falls, but you hang in the air and don't realize for, a for like yeah. a bit bing, bing, and then and bing, then bing, you bing. fall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that that that's what I that that Looney Tunes. Yeah. So, that would have um, made a cool noise. You would have. You would have. I agree. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> Johnny, you, you said, I believe Johnny's words were that was the best coffee. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll never forget that, Johnny. Ledge. Yeah, it, it, it woke you up. Uh, like, That's the best coffee I've ever had. I did want to say a quick story real quick. Yeah. Uh, we went to a uh, gift shop yeah. near yeah. the edge of uh, the Grand Canyon. And I had a weird interaction with the woman. Uh, they were selling a book about. All the people that have died at the Grand yes, Canyon. I think yeah. There was, yeah, they too, did yeah. have a book yep. about that. Yeah, they and did. it was like Lord of the no, it was like Harry Potter book thick. And it I was, was. like, yes, this it is was. crazy. Uh and she was like it's like a phone book. Yeah, yeah. She walked up and she was like, Hey, I just want to be real with you. It's tastefully written. Uh and then <laughs> yeah, I was like, she did say that. Oh, yeah. okay. And then okay. she paused and, just, and then she said, It was written by my doctor. And I was like, uh, okay really? i oh. didn't ask any more questions and i put the book down but i'm like regretting it it was like awesome yeah. looking i'm sure we, you can still find it we should have got that book and like read it in the van and stuff yeah yeah yeah. yeah. we could have done a, a burl reading instead yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Died. oh okay. every week we read a new death that would have been awesome oh. uh, 1978 william dude went just <laughs> uh fell in because he went too far to the edge <laughs> there were uh breakdowns of like Okay, this many deaths this year. This many were uh, actual 
murders. Yeah, yeah, they broke them up. Suicides, oh, murders. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, suicide, accidental, accidental. Uh, kids. Yeah. Ooh. There was uh, <laughs> lightning strikes. Yeah. Yep. It was so that's crazy specific. Uh, there was a story about what happened to every person. Um, Damn. And then I think didn't she tell us as well? Like, you know, a lot of people they get critically injured in the Grand Canyon, but then they die in a hospital yeah. somewhere else, so they're oh. not in the book kind of thing. I think like so. it might so. be even more. Can you imagine how thick that thing would be? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was I was there for that little interaction. That was interesting. That was a cool gift you job. I like tell she like loved job. her job. Got some dope socks in there. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I love. There's this thing that I forgot what it was, but uh, it's like oh the the thing that can save. I it's like this can save the Grand Canyon. It's a little door. And, and oh, yeah. I, I saw it and Garrett walked up and I was like, hey, check that out. And you looked at it. You're like, it's a fucking mirror, isn't it? <laughs> and you yeah. went up and you did it. It's a mirror. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a mirror. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Only I can prevent forest fires. Yeah, yeah I get wow. it. <laughs> I, wow. I didn't know about that. That's funny. Um, well, anyway, uh, yeah, so the Grand Canyon was awesome. Yeah, Grand Canyon um, was great. Oh, but yeah, what made the day, it already had an amazing morning. And then we're in the car. I'm nodding off of the van, and then I crack my eyes open for a second, and I see a crusty ass giant yep. Fred Flintstone. You got yabba dabba dude. Yeah. Stop the van, <laughs> Jay! Stop the van. <laughs> Every theme park YouTuber I've ever known, yeah, at some point stops at this rundown, shitty, <laughs> bedrock <laughs> city theme yeah. park Raptor in the park. middle of Arizona. I, I did not know it was in Arizona. I didn't know where it was. Yeah. And I'm like, it's it's here. And Jay goes, yeah, we're ahead of schedule. We got time. You, you want to stop there? And I'm in my head. I'm immediately scanning through this like, well, I know it's terrible. Is anyone here going to be into this? Because I'm about to make them stop potentially a while because I know what this is. It's the <laughs> worst, most rundown shit. But I want to do it. Yeah. And we went in and it was like one by one. I was like, look, I'll just go. And it was first of all, it was 10 bucks. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> there's nothing to see. It's a rundown, destroyed old theme From park. From like the 70s. But um, there's yeah, there's like a gas bucks. station pit stop kind of thing in front of it. Yeah. That you actually pay them to go through the gate. So I was like, well, I'm going to do it. And everyone else, it was like, uh, probably no one else will do it. Okay. And then Kevin's like, I think I'll do I'm, it. I'm doing it. Yeah. And then Sean was like, well, yeah, I mean, I'll do it too. Maybe right. we could, you know, maybe we could like film something, you know, for Patreon right. and like that'll make it worth, <laughs> that'll make it worth the cost we're about to go through. Yeah. You know, and all this stuff. Cause then Derek was like, well, yeah, fuck it. I'm in. All right. So it, all of us went except Garrett. Yeah. yeah. Garrett stuck to it. <laughs> yeah. Garrett's like, no, nah, I'm good. I even went up to him. I was like, hey, I think we're all going. I don't know if you still want to go. He's like, no, I'm good. If I was over at the other end of the room and yeah. it was like, hey, we're all going, I'd be like, okay, cool. Yeah. But yeah, I was already kind of like, Rocco, you go have fun. I'm gonna. Yeah. I, I'm just happy to be out of the fucking van. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, gonna yeah. kill some time. Yeah. I'm gonna order. It looks like they got some microwave pizza or fucking yeah. coffee yeah. or something. Microwave pizza. So I was in the food court ordering some food from yeah. the uh, the local yeah. uh, uh, employees yeah. that were you know talking up Nevada big time. I might move. <laughs> um, but yeah, then then you you hit me with the hey we're all going but you and I was just like I just got the coffee. You know what? <laughs> I got the keys to the van. I'm gonna go have some me time. Listen yeah. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I was yeah, exercising. Yeah, when I came lot. out, you yeah. were you were like doing push ups outside the van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just thought you know I'll have a little break. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that Bedrock Park was just as sketchy as I had it, hoped. But it was sketchy in such a like fun way. Oh, yeah. I'm so that, glad that I we think went. Everybody like the what I felt is when everybody's leaving, nobody went fuck that. Everybody, no. everybody yeah. kind of went we like stoked. that was shitty. But I'm glad we stopped. Yeah, it made for great photo ops. Yeah. Um, we we fi we filmed a video, which, by the way, a whole bunch of footage uh, we put up on patreon.com slash yes. mega64. There's a whole video exploration of that theme park with all of us. Well, mm -hmm. Garrett, except for Garrett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, hey, but, I didn't watch it. I was a Jetsons guy, so <laughs> I was a Jetsons guy. But, uh, yeah, it's owned by, like, an, yeah, people were saying in the chat, it's owned by, like, a bird sanctuary yeah, now. they've, like, just bought Apparently, it closed, and they, they yeah. bought it, and they were going to oh. bulldoze all that Flintstone yeah, stuff. Yeah, 2019, it was planned to be, like, yeah. gone forever. And then so many p people kicked this new thing went okay we'll keep the flintstone stuff so now it's half yeah. this raptor ranch thing with birds and goats and things which are new and 
the it's just all the Flintstones stuff still there. Just with tumble just rotting in the sun. Yeah, just rotting. <laughs> uh, Damn. Yeah. It's they said it's owned by a bird sanctuary. I I saw one owl in a cage. Yeah. I don't know what else makes it a bird sanctuary, but I'm I'm no expert. So yeah. who knows? Um. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was uh, scary. It was. <laughs> um, there, there, was scary some, there was some night. weird, like, oh, shit. There's weird like, energy. There's like uh, mannequin heads and all this stuff. And Sean crawled through the snake and he's he regretted it ever since. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, so, yeah, we put that video on Patreon and I think someone commented. They said there was one year. Maybe they were there on Halloween or some. I don't remember what when it was, but they said that I crawled through that snake and went through a shitload of spider webs, <laughs> oh. like just. Ugh. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, it was definitely worth the visit. Yes, I'm, I'm glad it was. Um, not not much else to report other than it was just seemed like we, it was it was a, a park made in 1972, and then they just never did shit with it mm-hmm. after that. So. If you're in the middle of the Arizona desert and you want to see something like that, it's definitely worth the, a, a brief moment. Yeah. Uh, however, I'm going to say, first of all, just in regards to the tour, thank you again, everyone who came out yes. to see us because I had such a good time. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed I said this before, but the East Coast leg of the tour was very, it was in the middle of like a bunch of cons we were doing and other stuff. So oh, yeah. I didn't get to, it, I was kind of burnt out and didn't, um, I mean, I, the shows were awesome. I had a great time at the shows, but uh, I feel like I was a little more uh, prepared for the West Coast leg where I could be like, no, I'm going to balance work a little better and got to say hi to lots of people and see things. And it was just amazing. It was, a, yeah. This last leg of the tour was one of my one of the best weeks of my damn life. Yep, loved it. I think it was the best um, paced we've ever done the tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was yeah. Like, it wasn't oh, breakneck. It, it was, was just tomorrow's right. a day off. Yeah. Like there's lots of driving, but I yeah. kind of preferred that over doing a show every night. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, that was show good. every yeah. other night or yeah. like two in a row. Or we got we had row. some time off to just be in the van, watch some movies, yeah. hit up yeah. hit up the Grand Canyon, or just stay in a cool hotel. Yeah, like it was cool. Um. It was really, really neat. So, uh, so thank you again to everyone who came out and made it possible. Obviously, mm-hmm. um, but I'm gonna give my personal highlight. Okay. Uh, you know, Sean would obviously say Grand Canyon, and who's to argue? Grand Canyon, amazing. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, but our time in San Francisco. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I left my heart in San Francisco. Let me tell you about it, <laughs> because when we were there, first of all. We had a day off in San Francisco. It was like our first day off, right? Yeah. So a day off in SF, what are we going to do? We've been talking about it forever. Every time Every for time. years, we, went to, years. we would go up for GDC. Yeah. We would go yeah. up for this. We'd go up for that. And we would never do it. And then finally, our, again, can't thank him enough, our tour manager, Jay, the mastermind, yeah. said, I'm planning it out. We're going to Alcatraz. We're doing yeah. the rock. He came up. Welcome I was to the running rock. the works booth, and he just came up to me with the receipt. And he goes, "Hey, check it out. We're going." And <laughs> I was just like, "Yeah, Jay, that's awesome." Dude. We've been talking about it forever because we always heard it was a big commitment to go. Yeah, yeah, and it was. It's a, it's yeah. a day, but yeah. it's an awesome fucking day. Oh, so cool. it's a full day. That was one of the highlights for me. Like. And it's funny. We saw multiple nat- national parks on this tour. Crazy. I never I thought didn't, that. I didn't realize that the Grand Canyon and Alcatraz are both yep. national parks. Yep. Uh, you Sean know, I, almost got the hat trick with the great uh, the barrier reef or whatever. Yeah, what was, <laughs> what was the lake. fucking Crater lake, lake you wanted yeah. to say? Yeah, that, see, that sounded <laughs> dumb. He almost got the hat trick. We that I'm glad happen. we didn't do. And we <laughs> got to see... Uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah, instead, exactly. Yeah. Which was probably doper than that dumb lake. Exactly. <laughs> oh, let's catch a fish. Come on, please. But uh, yeah, man, Alcatraz was so fucking cool. Yeah. And having the audio headset yeah. tour yeah. was, I think, the best part. That was so sick. It seemed so old fashioned and like yeah. touristy. It's like, I'll just walk through and whatever. Yeah. What? yeah. I'm not paying the extra five bucks. I don't even know what it was. But there, I was love, no, it was, there was no extra It was cost. free? No, no. Oh, that, see, that was, was free. Included. But I loved Fantastic. it. It was just stories and stuff of people and it, you'd go up like, this is cell 238. This was my cell. And yeah. it, it was like some guy talking about to kill time in solitary. He would just, he took one of his buttons off his thing oh, and yeah. he would just flick it in the dark or Listen with his eyes closed and, and then just try to find it in the whole, like. In the dark. And then you find the it. Ever. And then you go, oh, I found it. Okay. Flick it again. So that's, a, that's a game you play to kill time. Yeah. It's like, 
This is cool. Nothing crazy, to do with solitary. Crazy stories. Uh, uh, hearing all the little uh, nicknames, uh, yeah, Tiny over here, and then, uh, you know, the Birdman, and of course we had Creepy. Joe. Creepy. And you could tell he was creepy because he walked on his tiptoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, like, so many Garrett, memorable quotes from this. Yeah. Garrett and I were, la- you know, you were, in, you were listening to the recordings independently of each other, but I could tell Garrett was at the same part as me because we both laughed out loud <laughs> when the old man said, Hey, his name was creepy, and you could tell he was creepy. He's walking on his tiptoes. <laughs> <laughs> like, he couldn't give any other reason why well, he was creepy. He wa- I just picture a little Nosferatu type guy. Yeah, kinda, like, like, is that guy here. walking on his fucking tiptoes? Uh, the best part of the audio, not uh, you know, aside from all the old timer guards who were telling you very sternly, yeah. step into Broadway, turn yeah, left, yeah, and yeah. enter the cell. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. yes, sir. You know, but aside from them, great, great, you know, yeah. delivery that they had. It was fully sound design yeah. with just the sounds of men in prison. Yep. Yeah. So many loogies being yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. and coughing and spinning. Or rattling the cup on the bar. Yeah, noise like constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had such a beautiful sound bed. It made you feel yeah. there. Um, I, I, like, I don't know if it, uh, this happened to you guys, but the sound design was so well done. I mistook the sounds from the thing as sounds going on outside the... Yeah. For real. Uh, like yeah. something would happen. I would go, oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it's it in my headphones. That happened to me once, yeah. <laughs> it's in my headphones. Yeah, like, yeah. it's so well done of creating this kind of world around you as you're um, walking through. It's cool. It was uh, so cool. The part that haunted me the most was going to the whatever cell block faced the windows. Yeah. Uh, there was one they said, this was the desirable side. Like, if you were a prisoner here, you really wanted to try to work your way up to, like, I want to be on that side. You got to face the the water and all that stuff. And the most haunting part was they said like um, about, you know, once a year, New oh, Year's yeah. Eve would come and they said there were rich dudes on the, <laughs> that lived along the water and they yep. had like boats and stuff like that. And he's like, and if the wind picked up just right, you would hear like women laughing. Yeah. People having and, fun and parties. playing parties. music. And he's like, yeah. and that was like your only connection to, you know, yeah, you, the would, outside you, would, world. you would wait to see if you could hear that stuff. And yeah. Oh man, it was just, it was just haunting. And, uh, yeah, but uh, even beyond just the history of it, uh, one of my favorite movies ever was always Escape from Alcatraz yeah. with uh with uh, uh Clint Eastwood. Mm-hmm. Oh, you love his Twitter, and yeah, I mean he's got the best Twitter, but he's also <laughs> got the best Prison Escape movie. Exactly, and um the fact that we got there and it was just the sets from that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, cool. we went out to the prison yard and I'm like, oh, all the movie takes place yeah. here. Like, he, he says something very racist in this spot right here. <laughs> um, it was I'd never seen the identical. movie, but you were showing me. Yeah, it was identical to every shot. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, it was amazing. So we took a picture. Um, Which I think of, is one of the best pictures we've taken for tour. Oh my God. Uh, Jay took that picture of yeah. all of us. Oh. And then oh, I posted the that online. I was getting yep. messages from like family that were like, Rocco, that is the best photo of Mega 64 I've ever <laughs> it seen. It was so good. <laughs> it, it's like it took, it took a prison. To yeah, do, yeah. You know? <laughs> but yeah, um, really just powerful being there. Johnny, I don't know if you have anything you want to... Um, about Alcatraz? That, but, Alcatraz, yeah. Alcatraz. Uh, I'm going to get to other mm, SF stuff in a second. That was a highlight. I yeah. really liked... Uh, I, I don't really have much to add. I, I yeah. agree with everything, but uh, I thought it was hilarious that they sold Alcatraz spoons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they sold the whole <laughs> cup, you, spoons, tray, everything they would you could get in the mess hall. That's everything, so cool. like, all the standard issue stuff yeah. was on sale. You could eat every... You could have a whole meal with yeah. everything from Alcatraz. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. I got the cup, but I got the cup in like... 2006. Oh, <laughs> so right. I didn't buy it this time. Oh, okay, you already I had g- the cup. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did we all get the cup? I think no, everybody so. got a cup. You got one too, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Oh, that thing was myself. such a hindrance. <laughs> the rest of the Oh, tour. really? Yeah. <laughs> that was like the first day of the tour. <laughs> now I have a giant metal cup. That's <laughs> funny. I put it at the bottom of my backpack and never saw it again until the trip was over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it um, survived. Yeah, somehow it survived. But that was really neat and just, yeah, it was some powerful shit. And you took the boat over. Yeah. It, just, it, it seemed fake. I love yeah. being outside. Fake. Yeah. yeah. The fog rolling over the it was, it was like foggy and it steamy. And like, it was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really neat. The thing that was funny to me is the ferry, the ferry over, they, they would offer snacks if you wanted them. Yeah. But it was, it was like, bar. but no alcohol. Like, we don't have alcohol. Uh, however, on the ferry back, there's alcohol. Yeah, you can get alcohol. It's like. <laughs> They don't want people getting <laughs> hammered before going in. Yeah, thing. but oh, then yeah. on the way back, yeah, get drunk. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the city. It's not that was they probably had problems. So other SF highlights, of course, had dinner at the Boom. best restaurant. Right after. House too. of Nanking. 
We we basically I, got off the ferry and went it, and straight, straight over to there. Chinese dinner. iconic meal. It, it, that I think is my favorite restaurant. I agree. And that, that I think that's that it. That food is uh, mind blowing. Wow. It is the, so fucking and the good. vibe is. I think Johnny was talking about that. Like the the vibe. Yep. On top of the food, it's a good vibe. You it know, is. um, you know, and the, it's family run, family operated, family style meals. Yep. Um. And yeah, we ate there. For, well, let me just say, I will say this though. I'm gonna cop to something though. The only time I think I actually got angry on the tour. <laughs> Ever listen, when you're uh -oh. on tour a, a bunch, you're gonna have hit problems. I, I can't hug? really say they're really I don't think that I mean, I will say on my end, I didn't have any kind of big argument with anybody this no. time. You know, for the first ever tour, there. You know, Derek and I got into it over what? What do you call the sauce at this uh, <laughs> at this particular at this restaurant? Italian restaurant. You know, but <laughs> nothing like that this time. Really, we had a pretty. Uh, yeah. Everyone had a pretty good time. My only bout of anger was I was looking forward to House of Name King so much, and everyone uh, from from where we got off the boat from uh, Alcatraz, yeah. everyone Ubered to the restaurant, and my Uber would not show up. It was, it was like I couldn't get the Uber there. And Kevin was the only one with me, and Kevin was witness to. My, I was throw, I was like kind of throwing a fit. Was it bad or <laughs> it wasn't was it? as bad as you as you okay. think it was? From an outside perspective, you were just kind of like going, "Where the fuck is my Uber?" It, well, it, like, everyone got it immediately, and mine. It's like this guy's like taking the scenic route, yeah, and look at his shit. And He's I, on Alcatraz. All now. I was doing was going, "Should I walk?" <laughs> Should we walk there? <laughs> I think some of you did. Okay, so did, yeah. Yes. So no, my no, no, first group did. I walked there with Jay and Sean. We were just like, let's speed walk. It's like it's a mile, but like we could get there. We yeah, could put the I should have just done that. Yeah, should have done that. Right, we all should have, but yeah. we didn't really know. It was like this is a gamble. Could be all uphill. Yeah. It wasn't. And it, you never know. It couldn't have yeah. be the best area because yeah. that area can. And we were just like, fuck, we're gonna be late because they're all getting an Uber. It was a thing where we wouldn't all fit in one Uber. Yeah. We wouldn't all even fit in two Ubers. And yeah, we, we still had to take two Ubers even though a group went so, walking. Yeah, yeah, we just figured like, okay, we'll split up into three groups, two Ubers and the walkers, and we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, get, it, we'll get over there. Yeah. Because uh, we were not moving our van. When our we van, were there, we parked it and it's like, it's yeah. staying here. When yeah. we were there after walking for like 10 minutes before you, Rocco, we just knew like, oh, he, there's going to be a problem. He can't get the Uber. <laughs> we saw actually in the group text, like, hey, I'm sorry, we're not there. We're yet, still not in the Uber yet. The Uber is fucking driving in circles. So we knew, like, I, oh, I he's believe I, I actually, now typically in a group text, especially involving our tour manager, I wouldn't curse. <laughs> sure. But I believe I did text, still not in my motherfucking Uber. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, that's I believe what it, it said that. So then we all kind of look at our phones. Because I figured that watches. would convey everything you needed to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're sitting around the table with <laughs> appetizers on their way. And we're yeah. like, oh, fuck. Do we. <laughs> Do we tell them to hold off? Like, I don't know. Do we not eat them yet? Let's wait. <laughs> but and, it, it timed out. And hearing well that enough. you guys had ordered an or, or, oh, yeah. or, uh, you know, a, a appetizer or whatever, that was what set me off. <laughs> like, they're, oh, they're already ordering? Should I walk? <laughs> what would be faster here? <laughs> Should I, you know, uh, but that I like if it was for any other meal, I wouldn't have cared. But yeah. House of Name King, if I'm missing out on this shit. Yeah. I'll come back again tomorrow. Like, like I'm. Yeah. I will not have this denied for me. I think you I'll, arrived. I'll postpone the show. We arrived, no, and then like, right as they put down the appetizers. Yep. And then they, and then we're like, okay, you ready to order the mains? And then we just ordered a shit ton of mains. Like, and oh, I thought ordered, that was going to be too much, but oh, it was just right. No, it was just it was, right. In fact, oh. we ordered. We ordered more. We got that. Come, Chick come down, chicken. Oh no. We got the it's, uh, it's honey apple honey mayonnaise. Thank chicken. you, Kevin. Yes. <laughs> and in Classic. fact, when it was over, we ate everything and went. I could get one more. Yeah, round let's order one I more of that. that. Another yeah, round from the did. table, and we did, and it was so good. That's the best restaurant. I was so stuffed afterwards. It was great. And yeah. so I'm like, man, Alcatraz. We saw the worst of humanity. We saw the best of humanity. We saw it all. How could this get any better? How could so, it? So. We got out of the restaurant. Okay, it's time to go get the van. Yeah. But that could be a trek. Because we're another all thing. the way back there. Yeah, yeah we got to walk again. Yep. So Garrett, Sean, Derek, they went with Jay, our tour manager. They were like, we'll go get the van. Who wants to stay behind? You know, whatever. It's like, well, I'm down to look around a yeah. little bit. You know, Shops stay everywhere. Yeah, there's, a ton, there's tons of cool stuff around. Me, Kevin, and Johnny stayed behind. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll just kind of hang out here. Okay, cool. Oh, man. That was the best meal. I'm just thinking about it. Like that yeah. was that was the best. This tour rules. This is yeah. great. And then what catches my eye? 
this green tower. I did not know that Francis Ford Coppola's offices for American yeah. Zoetrope oh Productions were right directly Literally across. Right across the street. Literally 10 feet away. Yeah. I'm like, how did I never see this? Um, our good friend Jason Cryer, who's designed a ton of our stuff, you know, yeah. dude's a wizard. He did take me there once many years ago, briefly. I had a, I, I ate a meatball there and then we left. Um, it was before we saw Coppola do a talk um, at, at the, at the um, Castro Theater, I think. Okay. I was, so I was, I've seen it for a minute, but I didn't know where it was. I don't know where anything is. I'm terrible at directions. Mm. I didn't know it was literally outside of a restaurant. I was like, guys, Coppola yeah. owns this building. He's got a little cafe in the lobby there. And then the, he's the got offices, offices yeah. in there. Wow. Um, they, they cut together, I think, one scene from the God. I even knew specifically the scene. I'm like, upstairs, George Lucas cut together the uh, newspaper montage in one. And I, I just say one. I don't say Godfather part one. <laughs> George Lucas cut that in the editing he helped room? Out, yeah. He helped out uh coppola by going like yo you're busy enough let me cut that scene tight because it has a lot of effects a lot okay. of stuff that he was interested in so that whole scene with the newspapers talking about the killings yeah right right as uh michael goes to over to italy yeah, yeah. Uh, that whole directed. montage george lucas wow. he's in adobe premiere going to <laughs> <laughs> adobe <laughs> premiere <laughs> adobe premiere 1972 or 1971 whatever well, i don't know what i forget what year they were working on that but um yeah but anyway so he cut he cut that together up there they worked on all their movies there let's go in maybe we could just and we're looking it's like they got a little bar in there let's just yeah. see if we can get like a They're coffee like, yeah get something. coffees or something like that oh, yeah while we and, wait after dinner even just that we went in it was nice and quiet in there uh, you know but they're playing they're playing they're playing the little jazz music there's pictures on the wall production photos from the set of the godfather production Ooh. photos of captain eo yeah there's production um, stuff for uh, Apocalypse Now, yep. all of Coppola's stuff. It's all there. Oh, Tetro, yeah. you name it. And Johnny orders an espresso. So do I. By the way, do you have cannoli? You bet we do. Had a little cannoli, a little espresso. It was such a perfect moment. So Italian. Like, yeah. oh, this is what I was looking for. This is the best tour ever. The guy at the bar, the barista at the bar goes, by the way, you look familiar. <laughs> Perfect. What's, what's going on with you? Oh, that's guys? what you want to hear. He's like, Are you guys in town for something? And you're like, Yeah, we're on tour. And he goes, Is it Mega 64 on tour? What the yes. fuck? Yes. I knew. I knew it was you. I knew it was you. I'm like, This guy knows who we are. I knew it was you, Fredo. In, in the midst of all these pictures of all the, of the greatest films ever made, and this guy's going, Yeah, Mega 64. I like uh, The Haunted We. That's my, that's the best. <laughs> no one no, he says didn't. that. No, no, he didn't. <laughs> No, but, I know you're full of shit. But he was like, I, I recognize you. It felt like truly, it sounds like I'm sucking my own ass. It's destiny. Here, but it felt like a dream. Wow. It really felt like a dream. I, I've talked about this before when we got to do the steamboat thing during game days where everything oh, yeah. went so well that it felt like it felt like I'm at the end of Titanic. Like I just died. That's how it felt being in that like in Coppola's thing and they're going like yeah mega 64 okay i like that okay cool yeah. just like how did this happen this is so cool so okay we had our drinks we had the cannoli gotta hit the bathroom where's the bathroom down here okay um uh it, you gotta go actually way downstairs and there's like a basement and there's a door in the basement and that's and where the, the bathroom is bathroom okay so we went down there lots of cool posters again like for um, uh, one from the heart, I think is one of Coppola's movies. Mm -hmm. All the posters for all these movies that he did. Sick. And you go in the bathroom, come up from the stairs. That dude is there and he goes, stop. Let's go back downstairs. We got something to show you. What? Okay. He took us down and into an, there was an alternate door next to the bathroom. It was almost through like the kitchen area. Yeah. Kinda, and then you go through oh. another door to get to this place. I thought he was going to say stop like you 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 pissed wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've like been watching. Who dribbled in Coppola's, you know? But <laughs> no, he's like and he took us into another door. It was the recording studio and screening room. Oh fuck. He's like this is Coppola's screening room. There's also a recording booth in there. That is where uh Martin Sheen recorded all his dialogue for Apocalypse Now. He had to do so much ADR for that movie. Oh, there, yeah. was, there was so much audio issue, you know, whatever. So everyone had to do ADR. I never they, said anything to my wife before I said yes to a divorce. Yeah. All of that. All of that was all in of that, that booth? recorded in that room. He's like, that's where it was. Um, 
yeah, here's it's set up for audio, it's set up for um, they've recorded some music in here too, and then. Go ahead and sit down on that couch right there. That's a, this is screen. This is where they screen stuff in here. A lot of times, uh, Coppola or his family will just come in here just to watch a movie. Sometimes just to watch but, Blue Beetle, you know. But other times, yeah, exactly. Blue Beetle <laughs> streaming um, now. Now streaming. But um, yeah, this is where it all. I mean, I'm losing my shit. Mm -hmm. We're seeing all of Coppola's gear, all of their stuff. Um, you know, of course, I'm like. I'm sorry, this is tacky, but can you take a picture of me sitting on the couch? Okay, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. This dude was so nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so I got to say thank you. If they're watching out there, you know who you are, who, who are working at the Cafe Zoetrope. You, that was the highlight, not only of the tour, one of the highlights of my damn life, hanging in that screening room and yeah. checking out all the gear. We're looking at their equipment. I know what he did. I know how he recorded all the audio now. So I'm going to do the same thing. Gonna make, <laughs> gonna we're going to make like, we're going to make the next apocalypse now Yo. here um, at Mega 64 HQ. So that I mean, you guys have. I mean, I know I talked a lot. There was no way I couldn't about when it comes to Coppola stuff. But did you did you guys enjoy that? Yeah, like, I enjoyed the shit out of it. It yeah. was really fucking cool. I was kind of jealous when you guys got back to the van. You're like, you'll never fucking yeah. guess oh, well, we were where we've been. Yeah. Uh, so we're getting texts that are like, like hey, we hey. got the van. Where are you guys? It's fuck oh, yeah. off. We're parked <laughs> in a bus. Okay. Jay was yeah. kind of getting antsy on that one because we're parked yeah. in a bus Yeah, we're double zone. parked yeah. with our hazards on in the middle of San Francisco. But yeah. you three <laughs> were taking your time. I think I think we literally said, Johnny, I, I don't know if you remember, but I think we literally said at one point, they can wait as long as we need them to. <laughs> right? At one point, I think we said that it was like, this sucks, but they're, they no longer matter. Yeah, I got a, uh, Derek did the classic like, yeah, you left, you, you kept us waiting. <laughs> like, he did that to me and I was like, I, I was fully like, hey, they can be mad, they can kick our ass and this is one I'm just going to have to eat. It's worth it. it. Yeah. yeah. Just going to have to eat it. it on this one. I've been there. But Johnny, did you have any thoughts on they showed us like an area where like there were like a couple bands have come through yeah. here. I, I wish yeah. I remember the band. I can't remember. I can't remember in my head, it's like a was it Bo Boz Sprag? Yeah, Boz, Boz Skaggs. Boz, I think it was. Boz I think Skaggs. it was them. He, he came to the the cafe and then the I think this dude showed him this area and he's like, oh yeah, I've been down here. They they we filmed we edited we did a whole out our whole album down here or something like that. Yeah. Oh, so it was a recording studio. Yeah, before. it's a recording studio and a screening room. Oh, interesting. No, I think Scrub Lord in the chat nailed it. It was Baja Men. Yes, it was. I think it was Baja. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I I wish I wouldn't have corrected Johnny and said Boz Skaggs because I would have loved to have heard I would have loved to have heard him arrive at that. Yeah, I was just going to keep going like Brog Crag, Agro Crag, <laughs> Boss, Boss Nass. Ba yeah. <laughs> um, but wasn't that cool being there? Like that, that was. I'm so glad we all got to do that. Yep. Yeah, it was super rad. Uh, yeah, I was just like dumbfounded the whole time because you were talking to him and I just came out of the bathroom and they're like, Johnny, follow us. And I was like, yeah, what, come here. What? Come here. He's like, Johnny, What's happening? Johnny, 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 get, get the fuck over here. Fuck yeah. Can you imagine, Johnny, if. You got to see that because you went number one. Can you imagine if you did number two? Yeah. You would have missed that. Whoa. I would have ruined the whole day, dude. <laughs> Can you believe that? Um, what cracked me up, too, is that he said, if you remember, we were down there. He's like, yeah, every now and then we'll, we will do a private event that you can like kind of. I don't know. I don't know if he said bid on or or, or like they'll, every now and then they'll just announce like, all right, private event, you know. Um, I think like a lot of times they'll do like wine events at that cafe and then they'll screen a movie or something. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, and okay. we can only have a few people. Yeah, do it's it. small. It's, it's not tiny. It's, it's not a big, big room. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think? Said, like 20 people in there? Or no, less? I don't I, even know that. Yeah. 10? Maybe it, yeah. 10? Wow. Maybe if you got lucky, 10. Yeah. Um, it's like the merch room side. Maybe even smaller. Yeah, yeah. I get yeah. you. It, yeah. Uh, but um, yeah. So he's like, every now and then we'll do an event like that. We just did um, that. So, uh, you know, you missed that. but. At they got a I popcorn. Caught, at least I caught you here. You know, whatever. Yeah. It's like, oh, cool. Anyway, I I told uh, again because Jason Cryer had had shown me that place originally. I was like, look where we just got to go into, and he was like, I tried to get into the private event they just did, <laughs> and I couldn't get in. He uses the dark side. <laughs> yeah, he yeah he actually he knew all about that event. Yeah. He was like, I couldn't fucking get into this wine event. And they just let you in. I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Force, yeah. force lightning is shooting from his fingers as <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, texting yeah. you this. You, you, I designed every shirt, and this is how you repay me. <laughs> um, <It's> a, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Perfect Do Jason it. Cryer. Do it. Um, anyway, uh, but man, that was, that was so magical. So second to doing all those shows and having fun 
and and getting to perform for everyone live. Everyone's laughing. Everyone's oh, yeah. clapping. Second to that, going to Coppola's thing. That, yeah. was, that was my highlight. That was my and that was highlight. so the, early. That yeah. was super early. It was like they third saw, day in. And, yeah. that, and that, that truthfully, I remember telling everyone that. I was like, literally every show could go wrong. <laughs> we could sell no <laughs> tickets. And this tour was a huge success. Like, like <laughs> yeah. I will be beaming happy for the rest of the tour. And I did. I yeah. never had a bad moment after that. Even when things didn't go wrong, didn't go right, whatever. I was just like, yeah, that's fine. No. Life is great. I have, I have no complaints. I loved, like, after that, I think we headed into Portland. Yeah. yeah. That show was super fun. And yeah, getting yeah, to yeah. see uh, our friend West uh, and Doc Ryan. Yeah. That yeah. was a huge highlight for me, uh, hanging out in that venue. That green room was cool. And then getting to go back to the Crocodile where we played in Seattle, I thought was like such an awesome Great venue. Yeah. Yeah. Such Great, an awesome Cool hotel, venue. too, because it was the hotel attached yeah, to it. We it was to stay for above the, it. the people who play, like the bands I'm, that would play. Yeah. The coolest fucking hotel. It was like a musician's, it was like a rock star hotel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Fucking where, awesome. the, where the venue had its own hotel. Yep. I've yeah. never seen that. That was so and, cool. And not only that, but it was tailor-made for that atmosphere or whatever. So we go up to the room and it's like, here's a bowl of earplugs case, you know, rock band is pretty loud. Um, you want to go to bed early? Yeah. Uh, the, I, if there was a, uh, you know, um, Oh, there was a, uh, whatchamacallit. There was a, the, the rooms had bunk, like kind of, bunk well, bed. ours did. I don't ours think all, did. I didn't think most of the rooms did, but we okay. had a, like a bigger room and yeah. there were, there were three beds in it. So they yeah. were bunk beds, yeah. but there was a sign inside the room that was just like, yo, every band has stickers. Stick yours on the beds. Yeah. Like, like stick them on the furniture. Who that cares? That's cool. Like, yeah, that's promote awesome. your band. Okay. Yeah. You know, obviously we don't have a band, but I, you better believe I put, uh, uh, I think it was uh, the Garrett from the cosplayers video, him black and white is Ayanami Ray Liotta. Go yeah. <laughs> put a sticker of that, a sticker, a, a couple uh, of our, from our Ava video. Some yeah, logo some stuff. See, yeah. You ever stay there? You'll see us. Yeah. Yeah, um, see. What was so special to me? What? I, oh, they had vinyl records you could put on in the lobby. Oh, the yeah. Thing, you know, it had a lobby, this hotel. With a bar, yeah, that was fully staffed in yeah, the yeah, morning yeah. for yeah. coffee, and then in the afternoon for alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They also had a bunch of Halloween candy left over. Oh, yeah. and, and they were just been, and so that was my cheat day, dude. <laughs> we got we got back. Me and Jay, like we got, we all got back from food, and me and Jay were dumped that out like to, gremlins, like gremlins, to try to find the like the Reese's and Snickers bars and stuff. Oh, and we found because it was all like Twizzlers. <laughs> yeah, it was all Twizzlers yeah. on top. We were like, I know there's some in and here. And these are yeah. huge bowls, and yeah. they're both on two different coffee we're tables. Like, like, and Sean <laughs> came up the stairs and yeah. looked at you like. A disappointed father <laughs> like uh, guys what are you doing this is, this is a nice place and we put it all back it's I, and we had morning. we had a bunch of good candy i didn't know that was the source of the candy because all i know i is gave some I, to sean to i was i was editing um you know on the road yeah. I, I i had my mac with me and i was editing our i think it was our black friday presentation that, that yeah. went up um so every now and then i'd edit a little bit more and so i was i was staying up late last night that night to finish it yeah. and while i was working on it i think sean came in and was like they wanted you to have these and it was a little Snickers and a little Reese's. And I'm like, where did these come from? So that, yep. That's, that that's it. it. That it was from the it. lobby. Well, well I, I had a bunch of the effort. Bunch of Halloween candy. Know, I did not know that's what Yeah, that was fun. So I appreciate the effort. Uh, what was so special to me though, this has never happened. I love, I cherish in life the moments that you don't get to normally have. You know what I mean? Something you don't ever get to see. I, I, th I, I value those more as I get older. Like, when could you ever say that happened? When could mm -hmm. you ever? And I treasure those. And for me, it was waking up in that hotel and opening the hotel, uh, opening the the door to the room, yeah. you oh. know, coming go, going into the hallway. Yeah, and that's where they have posters of upcoming shows and bands. Yeah, and I open. It was just coincidence. There's there's posters all throughout the hotel. They're all different, but the one outside of my room was the poster for our show yeah oh. like opening the I didn't know that opening was and seeing in the hallway of the hotel mega 64 farewell tour coming this day was just like oh that was so that was special rad. to me yeah that was so um oh that got me that was really like yes yeah. oh man uh, for that me was it was really waking cool. up in bunk beds with you and sean i don't think <laughs> yeah. that we've ever shared a room yeah. in that in particular that configuration yeah. yeah yeah sean on the top bunk and me and rocco on the on the two bottoms that was, and they yeah. were those were the smallest beds yeah yeah 
Which maybe we were in the three person room, so it wasn't yeah. the most comfortable. Was, was it Star Wars Gal like Star Cruiser size? That's beds? all I thought no. about Rocco. Star Smaller. Cruiser was bigger, bigger and more beds. Oh, now, wow. the room, the room in the Star Cruiser again was tiny. Yes, but it was, was very utilitarian. Yeah. Like you would go into a bunk built into the wall. Yeah, yes. but you had tons of room in there. Yep. Okay. Like like even though the room was small, you 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 had a pod. You had you were, almost like your room. little room. Yeah, that you could just. I could stretch out in the in the in the uh, yeah. Star Wars hotel. These but not this. these twin mattresses on the bottom bunk were fairly yeah. claustrophobic. Yeah, I feel like Sean had bit. the best option being on the top bunk. Yeah. yeah, but then he had the worst sleep of the night. Yeah, I yeah. could sleep through. I could sleep through anything. anything and on any surface. So I, for me, I was it was fine. fine. Yeah. yeah, but uh, that was just really neat. Like, that, was, that was that was cool. That was such experience. a cool experience. Was there any other um, big highlights for you guys? I, that think, I didn't well, get to. I didn't want to, to like, steamroll time, it. Just no, with no, no, no. Talk. I mean, we're going late, but so what? Yeah. I, I was trying to timeline it like on our ascent into Canada. Like we, yeah, we did. Um, yeah, Canada. That was cool. you know that Canada Van, was cool. That whole Vancouver uh, yeah. and going Stopping to at, uh, Neptune, Neptune. Record, Re- Neptune the Records. Yeah, yeah, the Nardwar uh, Record Store. Yeah, that Nard- was Nardwar really capital of Canada. Yeah, yeah. Um, Neptune Records has uh, the Costco the Meth Syndicate flag for the Costco dollar uh, fifty hot dog oh. in their window now because he bought. <laughs> I saw Meth Syndicate post it. It's like oh like Neptune Records. Oh really? Thing. Oh that's and then they have it up in their window. Oh that's, that's awesome. Yeah. It, the the record store seemed like it was family owned. We talked to some people in the family mm-hmm. at our show later that night. Yeah, in yeah. VIP, and then we were making friends while we were there with the record store uh, clerk. Derek was talking to him, and you know Jay's really good at making friends with literally everyone everywhere Everybody. we yeah. go. Yeah, he's very talkative. What kills me is someone I know in Canada who lives there. They messaged me the day after the show and said I mentioned Mega sixty four at check out and it was the like someone in the staff who who knew what that was yeah. it was like oh yeah shit they were just here yeah 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 oh come check this out and showed them the the, the basement the, oh we're not the Nardwar 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 review area yeah yeah i didn't get to see that i'm we, in the damn show you ran you you, <laughs> you ran out of the basement uh, showings at the Coppola thing we were, and we were i spent my luck there yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and and truthfully and and speaking of that my goal really was to try to get into Cas- Casa Bonita at in Denver. Oh, yep. That's right, and that was definitely a. I spent out. my luck on the Star Wars Hotel. That's yep. right, yeah. but at least Casa Bonita it will still be open. Yes, we can like still Star go Wars Hotel. That was I, that yeah. ain't you know who knows what's happening with yeah. that. But yeah, that yeah. Denver that was part of our descent. We kind of came down yeah. through Denver and then other places. Yeah. I yeah. really fell in love with Fort Collins, Colorado. That was cool. I walked around for yeah. like an hour and a half just alone through Fort Collins. Oh, it was beautiful. Great. Yeah, so good in the middle of the night. It was like yeah. one in the morning. That was a city i don't know if it's touristy where we were but it just seemed fucking chill yeah and it was all like it was all like laid back stores along the there was like record stores everywhere antique shops you know you got your normal businesses and strip malls but like so many little places to eat and cool places to have tons of you know crystal head shop crystal shop tarot card shop you know sometimes there's towns where people tell us like oh don't bother with that place or you know skip that yeah but sometimes there's real value in like a sleepy town and, totally. you're, and you're there and it's like, oh, this is so not what I'm accustomed to. I remember going to um, Japan for the first time or, or well, maybe, I don't know if it was the first time, but maybe second time. I don't know. But I remember staying in, in some neighbor, you know, in Chiba, I think it was some kind of sleepy area. of Chiba Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For game develop or uh, Dur- it was during Tokyo, Tokyo game, game show, show, but I was staying was in, in Chiba, yeah, yeah, but I was staying in an area where everyone was just like, yeah, there's nothing happening there. You're like, you got it. Like once the show's over, you should go to Shinjuku. You should go to this. You go to that, dude. But being in that area of Chiba, it was, again, it was like sleepy neighborhood. I'm it, with you. I walked. It was through, wonderful just walking mm, around there. I walked through Chiba in yeah. 2010 for like hours yeah. to get because I took the you know train to like the wrong exit. Yeah, and then I just thought like. Well, I'll just walk the rest of the way yeah. through Chiba to get to the convention center where I think I was meeting you yeah. there, Rocco, at yeah, Tokyo yeah, yeah. Game Show. Yeah. And I did that same thing. I spent like an hour just hoofing it through the fucking neighborhoods. That's yeah. so, it's so cool it's doing that. It was I a fucking it. Ghibli film, dude. Yeah. It was just aw- yeah. as a wee, it, it was fucking geeking out. <laughs> and and it, little carport and the and, cute little Honda there. And, yeah. And it was, it, again, it was some place that everyone told me to skip. Don't, oh, don't. Yeah. You stay there, man. That sucks. Oh, you're stuck down there. I and mean, I'm just like. I don't know, but sometimes there's more than just the highlights. Sometimes it's yeah. like you want to see the side of things that aren't in the that aren't 
in the pamphlet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you that that are like highlight. You know the highlights. Sometimes the things between the highlights are just like wonderful. Totally. You know. So yeah. I really like that. Um, and Fort. Is that what it was? Fort, Fort Collins, 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 Colorado, Colorado. Yeah. was one of those where it was like no one told us to go there, and there was, there wasn't. It wasn't like there was some insane monument or anything. It was just like chill. We had a great and dinner. We had a yep. great breakfast there. Great. Yep. The hotel was most of the hotels were always pretty choice. Jay hooks us up with that. Yeah, uh, but I mean, job. case in point, like when we kept traveling further down, uh, we were going through like. Salt Lake City, Utah, and then on our way, like we stopped at Little America, Wyoming, which we kind of talked yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, on Friday's Black Friday stream, but I mean that again was a total yeah out of the blue. We'd see the gas. Yeah, super memorable experience for me though is like being in Little Wyoming. Yep. Or, I'm sorry, yeah. Little America, Little America, Wyoming. Wyoming. Yeah. It's just a trip. Yeah, yeah. Just getting all those little fragments of stuff of of place places that you know it's like you wouldn't normally be yeah. I, I i i love just authentic non-californian experiences yep. i just and really you get this a lot with road trips when you fly yeah. you're just boom boom yeah. that's yeah. it. yeah but when yeah. you drive somewhere you're like oh shit let's stop here yeah. let's check this out let's i really love that whole different i really thing. really love that yeah. that's my favorite part of touring driving yep. through the moab desert was something i didn't expect to be as beautiful as it was because yeah. of all those yeah. Like spires of stone and sand yes. that were yeah. just like fucking 50 story high pillars just yep. as yeah. you curve through the desert. It's like fucking I water know. did all this. I know. Yeah. That was its own little national park adventure yep. and we were on the road through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it was hitting just at sunset and that was beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Man, it was just, yeah. It was great. Uh, road trips are awesome. Yeah. I loved it. I loved every every place we rode through. I love yeah. it. Okay. And, and way to end it in LA with that fucking massive show. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Full Best ramen, way to end it. Full like a belly full of ramen and a great show. Oh yeah, because oh, we went yeah. to Daikakuya right yeah, before. Yeah. We ate we ate Daikakuya ramen in um I, I love that since the pandemic, all these restaurants just have tables in uh on the curb or in a parking <laughs> in the street. spot. And still do. Yeah. Uh because it actually expanded. It it was the, I didn't I hadn't gone to Daikakuya in years in LA because too hard you to get couldn't in. get in, yeah. and now it's like they've doubled their table space because they just put tables on the curb. We'll yeah. breathe I, I kind of love that. Yeah, hey, I, don't I, don't, I don't mind. I'll eat out here. It's great. I don't care. Yeah, it was, and it was. It was great. It was really, really good. Yeah, it was so fun being finally back in California for the last night. Yep. Yeah. And it's like we're in Little Tokyo, a spot where we've all hung out. Yeah, we've so we've been there much. so many times. It was great. So it was yeah. like oh, it's not quite home. We're not back in San Diego. But it felt, it, it you felt could like smell the, it, but yeah. it felt like home. The proper yeah. transition to home. Yeah, we're yeah. having the 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 familiar meal because we've all yeah. eaten there so many times before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got to play. It was at the Regent again. Yeah. And that place felt like it was a capacity man. Yeah, that was that was yeah, great. Uh, was. Had yeah, a good great good time and saw because it was the local show of this leg. So many friends. And acquaintances mm -hmm. and people that yeah. we just know more personally than, yeah. you know, I loved meeting all the VIPs and everything. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it was something about being in a hometown show. It's like, oh, shit, my friends get to see me perform tonight. Yeah. Put some extra nervousness, oh, some extra energy yeah. into the show. That reminds me, I, I do want to bring up doing. Um, so we do with with our shows, we do uh, this VIP thing. Every mm -hmm. every show, if you get a VIP ticket, um, you get a pre-show thing. And. The, it's oh, funny yeah. because every venue lists it in a different way, like what it's going to be. Oh, pre-show um, thing with Mega 64, special experience with Mega 64. I think some bands and some entertainers, whatever, they do maybe like a Q&A before yeah. just with that group or whatever. We don't do that typically because we do Q&A kind of like in our show, like like at the end of our show, it's kind of integrated into what we do. So what we do is very more, a much more personal thing, where we actually have people come up and and we just talk with them and hang with them for a little bit. And it's a one on one or you know two on three interaction. Typically, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got a friend with you, so we kind of you know hang and talk and stuff. Um, and it depends venue to venue where that's going to be. Sometimes it's like we we're hanging on the stage, come see us there. Or sometimes there's a bar next door and we'll be in there. It just depends on whatever the venue is. We did, we played in Arizona and they put us in this kind of an underground bar kind it was of like venue. A, it felt like a speakeasy. It kind of did. Cause yeah. it yeah. was a sprawling, it was all in the basement, but it was sprawling. How yeah. many areas? And here's another bar. And yeah. the stage is over here. And what yeah. the fucking bathrooms are back here? Mm -hmm. And then there was this 
very ornate room. It's like a library. A library. Yeah, they had a, the a hidden room. Back, yeah. back. That it was like, oh, yeah, the secret library. That's what, you know, if you know how to get in there, you could have drinks in there. Oh, cool. And then as as we the, the day went on, it was like, oh, um, we don't know where to do VIP because there's kind of not room here. There's not a room there. I think we're just going to do it in that private library room. <laughs> yeah. Is that okay? And yeah, it Jay's was kind of like... This might be weird. I don't yeah, know. Exactly. Is that all right? And me, we, me, Derek, and Sean. Um, I don't remember if you were Garrett. I think you were still setting up sound. I was still sound checking. Yeah, yeah. I came in late and went. What the, what fuck, the fuck are fuck? we doing? <laughs> me, Derek. I and was Sh uncomfortable. Yeah, me, Derek, and Sean immediately clicked into creativity mode. Yeah, where we went. Oh, we're gonna have each person come into this private room, and we're going to interrogate them. Like Chris <laughs> Hansen style, like seven men. Oh seat. yeah, you guys. Why don't you started, have a seat right there? You guys. What told, brings you here? You guys told Jay, uh, just stay in here with us and take the photos. We'll request the next person enter. And yeah, you and Derek were like, enter. Yeah. <laughs> next. Yeah. Oh, just so. Uh, and then they would come aggressive. in, and it would immediately be like, oh, you showed up. Huh. Interesting. Why don't you have, have a seat, seat right there. <laughs> so, uh, huh. oh, and then, so then th th this was always my favorite. We've never been seated for this before. No. We had to stand. We're always standing and hanging hours. out, but this one, it would just be like, why don't you have a seat right there? So, uh, <laughs> so what was your plan tonight? <laughs> and I, uh, see a show, have some fun. Interesting. Okay. Well, we've got some chat logs here. <laughs> they did not drop the bit. Yeah, we would just okay. So, what username do you go by online? Oh, I'm uh, you know, Robocop uh, two hundred one. Mm. Some very interesting comments on tonight's show <laughs> that you made. So, we've been okay. looking at your like Reddit. we just we would maintain the pressure the yeah. whole time, and uh, <laughs> it was it was like they were being interrogated. <laughs> yeah. But then then after a minute, we would drive. It was like okay, did, yeah, yeah. Did you think this was going to happen? They'd be like, no. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Uh, and we would just hang and talk with them. It was much more. And then once we actually were talking with them, we dropped the bit. It was much more personal. It was much yeah. more like, okay, there's nothing else going on. It's just us. We spent longer with that group yeah. that night yeah, uh, yeah. than we normally are even allowed to. Yeah. Because there's a certain point where, hey, they have to load in general admission. You guys got to like move because yeah. you're taking up yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking so, yeah. an aisle. So sometimes we're against the clock. Like so that. since we were in this uh, room that's hidden in the back, it's like, oh, fuck, bring general admission in and we'll yeah. just spend more time with the VIP. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was awesome. It was. It, I really think we left that feeling like, is there a way to do this at every show? Yeah, like, we need to figure like, that out. Like rather than just like, the, the common just yeah hey, yeah everyone's in here we're talking bring them into the van like make it make it a <laughs> private thing like that or it's just you know interrogation like excuse me so who are you yeah that's who you are yeah that's not what i heard you know whatever <laughs> uh i think that made it more it and it, just in the mega 64 spirit it felt more the like theater yeah oh you and know, then when you like told we were, yeah. we were inv inviting them into a scene almost you know when you told them like after we took a photo and said goodbye you would tell them on your way out like hey while you walk past the line of people oh, waiting oh, yeah, to get in, yeah. just like, just say like, man, don't meet your heroes. Or like, maybe yeah. like do a fake cry. Or, or like, or like that was rough. Or yeah. like, hey, I don't, I hope they don't mind me bringing this up, but <laughs> the person who runs, uh, we, we had a special guest at our, at, in, oh, in yes. uh, VIP at, in Phoenix. Um, the person who runs, I think it's Evangelion screen caps or something okay. is the Twitter. I don't know the exact handle, but they were there and, uh, and introduce themselves. They were yeah, like, I'm so glad they did. And it was so funny because they were like, I, I just want to make sure there's no beef because we did do screenshots of your Ava videos one day when it was mega 64 day, 20th anniversary. We did post screenshots of your Ava videos. I just want to make sure I didn't violate copyright. I'm like, yeah. no, hell no. That was great. Yeah. That was awesome. They were like, okay, just make it sure. And they were like, but, but could you do us a favor when you leave? Could you just, you know, maybe act like you're crying or maybe act like you're upset that it went really bad here. We want we just want to intimidate everyone going into the, okay, <laughs> we scare okay, okay. the shit out of them, you know, but it was just all in fun. And some yeah. people would just walk out. Well, that was something, you know, okay. Ha ha. But then people were like, there was, Hey, uh, you guys, there was someone legit crying out there. It was like, <laughs> they had Sean fool. And we were like, Oh no, did we actually upset someone? Yeah. Like, Oh no. And it was like, uh, yeah, and there was there was maybe only one person who the the interaction wasn't their cup of tea. Yeah, there there's one person that we think like <laughs> oh they yeah they were not happy but yeah. I I think they were not happy before they came in. Yeah, so. it might have been a bad morning. Um, who knows? But we were being told though no someone out there like sold it really like 
They were crying. I don't really I, well. Maybe they were actually crying. We don't know. And it's like, <laughs> who was it? And then they described them and it was like, it's the guy from the Ava screen cap. Yeah. And we told him to cry. He and was, apparently he did. He, did he it like so sold well. it. Yeah. Like people were just like, whoa. Because you don't hear. He, we found out like if you're next in line, you can kind of hear the conversation we're having in the room, which yeah. is of a lighter fare after the initial yeah. 30 seconds or whatever. But if you're at the back of that line and you're just seeing people come out dejected yeah, over yeah, and over yeah. and over, yeah, yeah, yeah. and all you hear is Derek going, get the fuck in here. You know, you're like, what are they doing? Oh, man. Oh, it was, it was great. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. So I want to see if we could do VIP like that. in another, But I also know some people are probably hearing this going, I don't want to. <laughs> this sounds like too much. Hey, get a general but admission. We had we had great conversations yes. with everybody. It was we a really lot did. of fun. Um it there was uh I you know, every now and then I'll get a comment or something that uh I, I I'm gonna turn this a little bit not to not to be negative, but I'm gonna turn this for a second, just for a second, into a little bit of return fire. All on a beautiful morning. All on a beautiful It's deep. Every now and then I'll get a comment or I'll see something. You know, I'll look online, see what people thought of the shows. And every now and then I'll see one that's like, you could, you could tell, you could tell he doesn't want to do VIP. You could tell he doesn't want to do that. Bro, I couldn't, I could not be more like I really love talking to people. Yeah. I actually enjoy that. Even like when we do our skits and things like that. Am I stoked when I got to do a skit where I'm like, uh, you know, dressed like Mario and I fucking shit my pants in public? You know, I, I, I may not I don't I may not wake up that day excited to do that. Maybe not. But when it's like something where I get to talk to people, I love that. I actually really like yeah. talking to people I don't normally get to talk to. To the point that we do VIP and then I will even I'll come out after the show if I can. Now, sometimes we can't. But I will come out after the show just to say, hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. You know, if yeah, I you, didn't want to talk to people, I would not go out and talk to 150 yeah. people. You make leaving. a point to go out, I think, almost every show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as we're done to, like, talk to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever I see, like, oh, you could tell he doesn't want to do it. You know, people try to read, read me sometimes, and it's like, and I, I know it happens with Derek, too. Oh, totally. it definitely happens with Derek where it, people are like, I could tell he, he's mad or he could tell. He, and it's like <laughs> me and Derek get that all the time. And it's like during. So, well, I mean, we talk about this all the time, too, where, um, you know, you oh, <laughs> you guys look tired. No, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Oh, you know, stuff like that way to greet someone. So but, all I'm right. saying is like, you know, when you, if you're trying to read us like that, like when if and and I hear that, I'm just like, well, that just says to me, you're bad at reading people like. Or that we, you know, we have resting, you know, dick creator face, dickhead face, yeah, yeah. creator right. face, <laughs> resting so, creator face. So you know, maybe we'll meet in the middle and say, maybe we do look like that, but maybe you don't don't read us, don't try to define us. Like yeah, that. you know, meet me in the middle here. Um, Sorry, you had I, an awkward interaction. You know, that, that's bound to happen now and then. But yeah. but I will just, I just want to say on the record, I really love meeting people talking with people yeah. and um so totally that's that's half the fun of doing the shows to me i love being on stage that's why i want to do it but um half the fun to me is getting to like talk with people i normally wouldn't so uh that's my i just want to give my two cents on mm. that um y'all uh, someone in the chat is saying you're cool with me uh the last one i was at the denver show and you said you're late i'm so glad we got to say <laughs> that we did See? we did how fun is someone that? walked in late at denver it's probably um, all the weed they were smoking outside. <laughs> oh, Denver was the one. Oh yeah, the Denver was all about room. that. That was ever. Well, like, it makes sense. But the one green room where they're like, "All right, uh, here's uh, two eighths uh, indica sativa, some rolling uh, papers, a tray." <laughs> that's the only time. What? Uh, that, yeah, this ever. Is I've ever seen that on tour. Yep. Courtesy. Here you go, gentlemen. It was just like. We didn't even get fucking veggie trays for the last yeah, three I weeks. I know. Every really, our, our all only, we want. Our only writer. I'll just you know we'll be candid with this. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. We are easy. We for are a group of going. seven dudes that are performing for multiple hours. You there know? is our writer is basically. If you got a, uh, we would like chips and salsa. If you got it, tortilla chips and salsa, veggie tray. If you got it, some hummus. If you got it. Uh, bottles of water if you got it and red bull 
Yeah, I I one t- I uh, one show yeah. asked for sugar free Red Bull like on our first tour. Yeah, it's and still on our the manager rider. Jay keeps yeah. that on every rider because he's like, well, you you know you, you like sugar free Red Bull, right? Hey. I'm like, yeah, and he's like, I like having that on there because it it's a sign to see if they're if they're looking. Paying attention. Yes, yeah. if I see the, the if I see M&Ms. that one in the yeah exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. like if I see that one in the fridge, then I know like okay, oh they they're, all, they're on they're they're on it. Yeah. You and know? you got me on them now because it's like oh there's a four pack in each fridge yeah, yeah. we get to, and it's like hey are these all spoken for? Oh there's one left. And it's like yeah. Man, they didn't have coffee. I'll let me try the sugar-free yeah. Red Bull. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not bad. Uh, so anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, Denver. Yeah, yeah. So, so, um, yeah, Denver was the first one where it's like, and I think they actually still had the other stuff. They I did. They had. They, had, they, had the, they took great care of us. They did Denver. chips and salsa and marijuana. That, and that marijuana. Was That's what you want. That was really after something in Denver. the opposite order, though. Um, but you know, I, <laughs> I again, we were uh, that w- that was the show that during which they were um. We were, I think, we were airing our Black Friday presentation, like the sure. one where we debuted all the items and stuff um, in our medieval courtyard. Yes, uh, that was airing at the same time, so I had to be a tip-top physical, yeah. mental state. But, um, but Kevin, on the other hand, nope. got fucked. Uh, Kevin was, <laughs> Kevin got the munchies. <laughs> the hummus That's was gone. True. I'm gonna tell you, I got back from soundcheck. A hummus was gone <laughs> yeah <laughs> my the, the my job at the tour yeah <laughs> rarely includes me entering the green room. yeah kevin really I, I don't see the green room other than maybe a minute yeah or you two really beforehand. don't ever huh and I, yeah. i'm like i do a once over at the end of the night but other than that i'm i do not set foot in the green room yeah pretty much you are at the merch booth yeah after like the 14th time that the show is going on i realize that you duck out of the merch booth though and do you get to go chill somewhere usually like, uh, i'll find what? a seat or something like that oh, during okay. during the show okay yeah um people are buying stuff no. then you can actually like take a break yep. uh it's always fun when when we do get because some venues do take care of you know like every now and then we'll do a venue where it's like hey uh by the way we make wood fire pizzas oh yeah uh what kind of pizzas do you guys want we're just gonna make them for you it's like oh okay mm-hmm. yeah pepperoni this that whatever and what's funny is when we'll get that during backstage, we'll, you know, I'll go backstage for a costume change and it's like, there's pepperoni pizza here. It will immediately turn into, how does someone get a slice to Kevin? Where's yeah. Kevin right now? Okay, Kevin, <laughs> we got to make sure Kevin gets a slice. Where is he right now? Okay, confirmation on Kevin. Yeah. He's down the hallway. He's down the hallway. Get, Jay's got a slice. Hey, Bring it down. <laughs> it's go, go, go. It's always like, how do we deliver the slice yeah. to Kevin? And, and I always get a slice either. and it's delish. Yeah. Jay always uh, says like, now we can't ask him if he wants a slice because he's going to say no. So I just have to bring the <laughs> slice to him. Where is the Kevin's? Sl- okay, there are the Kevin slices. Okay, I'm on it. And he he knows. Don't ask. Just present the slice. <laughs> um. Yeah, so uh, we had a pretty good system down. Yeah. What do you guys think? Could you have, were you happy to come? I mean, I think we all were probably happy to come home in a sense. Oh yeah, yeah. I was you, I was ready. Could you have done more shows? Would you have been like, "Uh, of course I could. Or, I could. I could have done more shows, but hey, I, I was like I was ready to be Yeah, ready. I mean, I'll be honest, it's not me that needs me back home. It's, uh-huh. you know, I live with my girlfriend. We got three animals. Sure, mm-hmm. sure, sure. There's sure. a lot of variables. Yeah, there's a lot of like variables uh uh it used to be, you know, work, getting time off work. Thank God. I don't have to deal with that shit. Anymore. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is work now. Sure. But yeah, I think like two weeks is that maximum period uh, where like I can be gone for that entire block. Yeah. And, and it, it's, you know, it's a lot on, I know Sean's family as well for him to leave for longer than two weeks. So for me, I feel like that's the right amount of time. Mm-hmm. And the way we paced this was, like I said before, like yeah, the best we've done. Yeah. Yeah. The, the like, Two days on, one day off, you know, two days on, one day off, maybe yeah. like three days in a row, but then a day of driving. It was always like I wasn't getting burnt out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I could. Yeah, yeah, I, I I agree with that. I was happy to go home. You know, it was nice to go home, but um, it's it's hard. Like at first, it's like, oh, man, we're going here now. We're going there. But uh, with these tours, I hit a routine. Oh, so, yeah. like by the time we, or, the tour was ending, I was like. If I had to do this a couple more weeks, I could have done. I could have done it for a month. I think yeah, I was in a routine really? where I wasn't even. I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, but I think after a few weeks, I would be like, "Man, I wish I could just be by myself, like at home, yeah. for a minute." You know what I mean? Yeah, Johnny. What do you think? What's your? How are you feeling? Um, uh, I don't know. I could have probably done it. I just start to get in my own head a little bit when I'm on tour. Okay. Oh, really? I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but I start to like. 
this might just be my own anxiety. And I, I know you guys are going to follow it up and be like, no, no, you're fine. I always get this air. Like I, I start thinking like everyone hates me. Like I, that starts to kick in <laughs> when I'm around you guys yeah. for too long on tour. And I start get, like freaking out a little okay. bit. I know and, what you mean. I, yeah. yeah. Johnny, you're wrong. First of all. Yeah. <laughs> but I sense that energy from you. Like I sense that you're thinking that and I'll tell you exactly when. When, whenever you ask me to, you, sometimes he has to dump footage on my laptop. Oh yeah, and I sense an energy of, you're gonna, you're gonna hate this, and therefore me when I ask you, but I need to dump this footage right now. But you know what? I'm always happy to do it. Actually, I should say half the time I'm fucking busy and I'm like, when do I? <laughs> but that has nothing to do with Johnny. That has nothing to do with Johnny. Um, but and, and you're wrong. Yeah, I think um, it just happens yeah. to me in general though. Like sure. I think like when I'm with a group of people, I start like. Uh, like even just small things become huge to me. Like, oh, sure. uh, I mean, I'll, I'll get real. There was a day on the tour where I had to like, Kevin saw it. I had to like hide in a, like a dark room for like an hour. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause I just started to, I, I think I have like a really low, um, window, not window, but like, there's just so much I could interact with people. Yeah. Social yeah, yeah. battery. Social yeah. battery. Yeah. So, yeah. So that depletes and then it's like small things will just set me oh, off. Yeah. Yeah. And so I just had to like find a spot and, and just disappear. I definitely felt like that on the first leg of the tour on the East Coast. Again, because I was so uh, beat down and tired and exhausted coming into that tour. I felt like shit the whole tour. And so, yeah, my battery was low. I would talk to... You know, I would do the VIP, but then it was like, oh man, it's hard for me to, and and then yeah, like this is no offense to anyone, but like you guys would annoy me more than normal, like like you know what I mean? Because little things would be like, yeah, that's what I uh, would, you be. know, oh oh, Kevin asked if he could move this shoe over here. Why does he need to move the fucking shoe? It's <laughs> fine right so there, <laughs> you know. And then I would think for a minute, and it'd be like. Rocco, your battery is so depleted. That's what I mean. I didn't have that problem in this leg. Yeah. So I was able, I savored every moment. Um, I know what Johnny's talking about though too, because like I'll have, I'm drinking coffee all fucking day. You do, and you I'll all, have all, all time of night. <laughs> I'll have this night. energy that's like, <laughs> can't wait to fucking go. Let's do this show, guys. And I look over and Sean is in, like you coined, uh, full body sulk. Full body sulk. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'll realize, like, oh, am I annoying? Like, I've been, like, bubbly yeah. and bright, and I'm rooming with Sean every night. Yeah. Have I been talking to Sean too? Have I been bugging? <laughs> Have I? Because we've all been in a van. There's seven dudes in a van for yeah. fucking two weeks. It's, like, hotel, van, green room, stage. Hotel, van, yeah. green room, stage. We're in 20-foot proximity of each other constantly. And, I yeah, and I just I become aware of like, am I talking too much? Am I like bugging Sean with bits and fucking making Eric the Midget noises and like whatever? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that, that's just in my head too. I go like, let me put my headphones in, let me chill out for a little bit. I definitely yeah. And now we're I didn't know we were gonna get to this real section of the oh the talking. real shit. <laughs> but I love getting real. Feel the, the yeah. same way towards Kevin. <laughs> Where in like the second fucking week of it or whatever, I'm feeling like. Have I told him about like fucking theme park news enough? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we're generally yeah. into the same stuff, but it's like day 12 and I'm like, okay, so, okay, so we're going to wake up early tomorrow and get that steam deck, right? We're going to get, it's like, this guy is probably so fucking spent yeah. on my shit. <laughs> yeah. It's I, a balance. I do get to that point. Well, and I think I feel that way because true. I do get super spent on Kevin being, you know, you know the whole his whole bit gets old, <laughs> whole gets whole old bit. fast. The whole regular oh, guy bit. Oh, I think we should know? wake up early and look at the canyon. Oh my god! Yeah, let me sleep. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking on that. What were we gonna say? No, that was it. Oh, yeah. he, he was gonna say. No, you, you're incorrect. Head. You never annoy me like that. Oh, okay. Like that. There is a fine line though because it's like it's cool to show like our friends like a funny thing we saw on Twitter on our phone. Like Johnny, look at this fucking CM Punk. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, but then it's like, okay, I've shown Johnny three things on my phone today. Like, I'm not going to keep showing him stuff on my phone. You know, like, I I'll become conscious of that. Like, I, I will. Well, maybe I'm annoying Johnny. He wants to watch <laughs> uh, Starship Troopers. Yeah, I do. You know, over time, I think we all have that consciousness, self-consciousness, I guess, which yeah. is good. Yeah. It's better yeah, yeah. Than, than to not have it. But, um, but I will say, though, it is funny. I do think um, on these tours and when we travel, I do find uh, over the years, I would always stay with different people. Was, I'll stay with Sean. This time I'll stay with Kevin. Mm -hmm. Garrett. I find that now Kevin and I 
almost exclusively stay together. And now you might be hearing that and thinking, oh, man, those guys, you know, the creepy old crip BFFs, that's, you know, stay. and I don't think it has anything to do with that at all. I don't think even a little bit does it have to do with us being friends or even being cordial to each other. I think it is for one reason. What's that? What's reason? that? And one reason only. And Kevin, you tell me if I'm right. Okay. That we subconsciously always gravitate to staying in the same room because neither of us ever want to see goddamn reality TV ever on the television in the uh. hotel room. <laughs> Both of us never turn the TV on. It never turns. Uh, there's nothing on the TV to okay. uh, ever. And ever nobody needs something to fall asleep to. I yeah, uh, oh yeah, I, I, I forgot. You're 100%. I forgot. I love it. There is nothing but silence in that room at night, yeah. and it is perfect. <laughs> you guys, you like, guys have found this is psycho to me. You're the yeah. right. Bunk. I never uh, realized I, that. I, Kevin and I both lay down in yeah. silence and fall asleep. Uh, I just look at my phone yes. and I fall asleep. I've never in my life needed to listen to anything no. to fall asleep to. Okay. I never realized. Uh, and dude, Sean has fucking is blaring. How, I mean, Howard Stern. Hey, he's got headphones on, but you can hear it you from can the still parking hear lot. It. You can hear. All right, Robin, what's the news? Yeah. Okay, all right. today, so, uh, all right, Ted Danson uh, did this. And he the, doesn't set a sleep it. timer. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't set a sleep timer. He wants no. it to be on all when he wakes up. Yeah. Yes. And uh, here's the thing, like I room with Sean and we've found ourselves because, yeah, I've stayed with Derek and Johnny when we were doing three man in a room. Mm -hmm. uh, but me and Sean have kind of found it because we, number one, go to bed early together. Yes. yes. We like going to bed early. And getting up early. And getting up early yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. like I'll hit the gym or we'll make mm -hmm. sure we get the breakfast or whatever. Uh, but I can handle him listening to Howard Stern all night. Yeah. It's fine. It's it's yeah. it's like white noise for me. At this point. So yeah. I could sleep in silence. I could sleep with the TV on, like in Derek and Johnny's room. Or I could sleep with Howard Stern on and let Sean, you know, have his yeah. his uh, his nightlight, basically. Like, that's yeah. what keeps him asleep. Because I'll listen one night. I'll be like, hey, I got it tonight, brother. And I put on a 60-minute sleep timer. Mm -hmm. um, we He was out in 10 minutes. But yeah. when I woke up in the morning, he had Howard Stern on his phone playing. Yeah. He had yeah. woken up at some point in the night and, and put went, it on. Nope, I, I got to hear this. Back. Does he not wear headphones? No. Because he used to put headphones on. In the but for me, he asked me, like, are you cool with it? I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Can you hear her? And I'm like, turn it up a little. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our room is pitch black, no sound. <laughs> it's no, fucking it's, heaven. I, See, I do wear I do wear earplugs yeah, when I go to sleep. I don't. So if, if, if Sean was playing that now, I, I wouldn't hear it. But um, <laughs> yeah, but I will say, I will say though, on my end, it's not just as simple as I lay there and I fall asleep. I am many nights up late. Beating Zelda. And I will say like, <laughs> Kevin will fall asleep. Yeah. Kevin will fall asleep and I'll be on my Mac just working on shit or whatever for three or four more hours yeah. just because and you can um, sleep through that. I can sleep through. I, yeah, that's, that's a good pair. Yeah, that's awesome. But I, I can't fall asleep until I am like, I cannot stay up any longer. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, you know, so sometimes some nights it's immediate. And then some nights it's like, sure. Hey, you know what? I'm going to work on this or I'm going to, um, watch this. You know, I might watch a YouTube thing or watch a yeah. movie yeah. or something. Um, I do, I don't, I try not to play video games before I go to bed because those work me up though. Yeah. I will not fall asleep. I just look at my phone. I just look at Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll look at some stuff. And then once I, yeah, eventually I just lose interest in being, we, like, we would be like, tucked in and showered by like nine o'clock sometimes yeah and then it's like pitch black lights off and you know half volume howard stern on the nightstand yeah and yeah. we'd both be asleep and then able to wake up you know our our yeah. our clocks you know yeah we're still sunk to like we get up at like six o'clock here mm -hmm. in san diego so we were getting up five six o'clock in these hotel rooms sometimes um, and, but it worked. We, you guys found your system. We found ours. Yeah. We do watch a little TV. Like we watch a lot of movies though. Like we watched the, uh, end of eyes wide shut and we watched, uh, oh, yeah. we watched a couple good movies in the, in the hotel, room. hotel rooms or whatever, just cause they had HBO. Yeah. I will say that when I went on the last laugh tour and it was Derek, Johnny and I in a room, there was a lot of reality show. Television. <laughs> a lot of ghost hunting. Can't, cannot do it. Johnny. That shit is poison. Is ear, ear yeah. poison. Hey, don't yuck his yum. When I'm hearing uh, that, I'll yuck that fucking yum. <laughs> uh, we didn't watch much this. Uh, like, I have to put the TV on because, all right. Yeah. There's a lot of 
uh, jokes back in the day of Rocco playing uh, games full blast. Oh, yeah. yeah. There has been none of that while I've worked with you guys. Yeah. But... Derek full volume on his phone will watch Instagram reels. Like oh. it's not even like oh, like vaguely loud. It's full full volume. volume. Can you cut to me real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no headphones. How many times did that happen on this trip? A hundred times. Playing a game full blast. Oh, zero times. No. He's getting back at you for the F zero taxi ride we all took. For the rest of his <laughs> life. It wasn't F zero even. It was wipeout. It was wipeout. Wipeout on Shit. PSP. Uh, but Derek and I, would, we'd uh, he'd bring his laptop. We'd watch. We'd catch up on AW. Yeah, you just plug it into the TV and, and stream it to that. Um, yeah. Every, uh, almost every uh, hotel had YouTube, so I'd I'd put on like yeah. a Thrasher video or something. Oh, and then see, that's cool. Once he fell asleep, I just turn it off and watch TikToks on my phone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with Sean did watch a lot of football in the room. Ooh, ooh, ooh yikes. yeah. I'm be like, with oh, Kevin. See, this yeah. guy, uh, Brett Favre here, he's uh, he did this and did this. And this also, guy, Brett Favre. Taylor Swift <laughs> knows him, too. And I would oh, get a lot of that going Jesus on. The oh. one night I stayed with Sean on this tour, and he still he brought up. Brought yeah, up. you know, I guess we can't get rooms in the next town because Taylor Swift is there. I mean, she's going to be a billionaire. I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, earplugs. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no blow ups. Oh. It was fucking easy Because yeah, we're all friends. We, we enjoy our company for the most part, I think. Yeah. And we've had a lot of practice. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. What's left to say? Tour. We didn't even talk about the DBZ video. The Saiyan Saga <laughs> in fucking five minutes. I think we got to I could talk it. for an hour about that and we didn't even get to it. What do we do? I don't we, even know what to do with this. Fucking sponsor, dude. We are. Yeah, yeah, oh, dude, we let's have a just get. Okay. Okay. We got to get that. Out hey, of well, way. real quick, real quick. Cyber Monday. The DBZ, the DBZ oh. video, the Saiyan Saga in yes. five minutes finally came out. Did. Um, you know, all of these in five minutes videos, labor of love. We, as we mentioned before, we were putting together this Blu-ray of all of our video of all of our in five minutes videos. And we realized it's like, dude, you're going to have the whole DBZ saga on there, but it's missing those first episodes. The, uh, the Saiyan saga, it's, we never did that. And that was the plan for like at least a year, mm -hmm. maybe years. It's like someday let's do that Blu-ray and just for the Blu-ray. Yeah, that was it'll always be, the plan. It'll yeah. be a surprise for people. They will hit play. Yeah. They did the whole fucking Saiyan saga. Oh my God, it's a whole new thing just to fill it out and complete the story. That was the point. It was going to be an exclusive thing to the, like a fun thing just for if you bought the Blu-ray, you get yeah. this thing. Um, and uh, and then, yeah, as as we we had so much trouble printing physical media this year and all the woes we went through. We worked really hard on that Saiyan Saga video and then it was like, is this thing even going to come out? When's this going to come out? We don't even know what's going to happen. So we decided for everyone who struggled getting their Blu-rays and whatever, let's give them this video. Let's just put it out for free. Boom. And, uh, you know, and then, and also too, it lets you know, hey, we did a, we did do a Blu-ray of all this stuff. If you like it, here's a way to support and all that stuff. But, we went the route of giving people that um, instead. And, Which and I would hate to fucking sit on that for who knows how long. Yeah. And uh, getting that out right after we got it finished was yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, well, we put it, we finished it before our tour and then got to show it. Good, yeah, tour. but that was really, neat. really, I mean, that was like, we finished it right before the tour. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we talked about it on our Black Friday stream, but Rocco yeah. was in his own crunch that we didn't make him do it yeah yeah yeah. but he got i wanted so much there. done before the tour just so we could you know <laughs> yeah. have that blu-ray in production yeah. but also get to show that in every city yes at the end of the night that was yeah. huge mm -hmm. seeing the feedback one-on-one -on -one, yeah. yeah like weeks after we finished it yeah it was really really neat um and so thank you to everybody who, who responded and you know all that stuff and and shared the video we always appreciate if you share oh, yeah. it but anyway um there's tons of behind the scenes stuff we could talk about with the video. Um, but maybe, maybe we'll do that on the next yeah. podcast. When Sean's back here. Yeah. 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 Um, but, uh, I mean, you know, a lot of it was the tricks we've learned in the past, applying them to the new, you know, making a new video, mm -hmm. but going back was just fun. And, and anyway, maybe we'll talk about that yeah. more on a future, Future one, but yeah. if I'm, um, let me tell you, if you get that Blu-ray that's on sale now, shop.mega64.com, we did commentary on it. There's a uh, whole behind the scenes video, long ass behind the scenes video, just on that video, as that's well as all the other ones. Yeah, for now. I haven't and, seen that. 
yeah. and uh, a, a whole gag reel from um, that this video and a whole bunch of stuff. So if you if you want that, if you can't wait, order the damn thing now, Please. and you won't even have to wait on whenever we do another. I don't know podcast. I don't know if you'll have the Blu-ray by then, but <laughs> at least you'll feel like you're probably closer to will. It. Um, okay, so let's wrap this up. Yes. I want to give thanks to a sponsor. Uh, I, I actually, I'm I'm kind of approaching this as, as fresh as you guys. I'm curious. Need, um, you haven't screened this, Kevin. This is <laughs> no, no one is I, even I even I haven't totally I screened this. I don't He's know reaching this down to grab something, and I I'm very curious as to what it is. It could be anything. Uh, oh, that's a, a big box. Out. I want to give a shout out to our friends at one of the best. Spon- we stumbled upon the sponsorship. Walking at night. We had just had a fresh bowl of ramen and we were walking down the streets of Osaka, wandering into whatever shops and landmarks we could find. And oh, then yeah. we saw the Tenga building. Oh. And we, you know, perused what they had. I bought a hat and some other th- things. Some other things. And <laughs> gentlemen, we talked do about not this. Discuss. And because we talked about it, they reached out to us. And for years, they've been a supporter of Mega 64. Yes. And I've been a supporter. Of, I'm trying to do my part and support, support them. Anyway, they, yeah. told me, they, they, told, they told me to keep an eye out for something. Keep an eye out for a new, um, exciting... Tenga, in case you don't know, it's been a while since they've sponsored the podcast. Yeah, yeah. So they, Ono they, Cup. They make um a pro, uh their their tagline is masturbate better. Okay. Okay. Got it. Now I'm on board. Um so far. But you know, it's always kind of like, what are they gonna do next? How are they gonna so they told me something was coming. <laughs> I just got a peek at the spine of this. For, this is too. great. It's this is fucking it's great. It's the holidays, and they said there's a holiday treat coming for you. <laughs> in Mega sixty four. Holy shit! Fortunately, I got to this first. Wait, <laughs> but there's how many Take days? Take a look right there. We've got the oh. Tenga Advent calendar. <laughs> oh my fucking god! This <laughs> oh my god is something twenty five. This is something, I think this was a limited edition item that I think you can't even get anymore. I think it was a limited thing in Japan. It's for this year. And they sent us one. Now, I don't know what you're going to see when you (laughs) open it. it. Actually, you have No Nut November and All Nut December. (laughs) 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 Nut as many times as you can. Oh, okay. Okay, So I want to tell everyone. Tenga is back. Oh, as our official sponsor in December and how it's going to go. Take a look, everyone. There is a different compartment for every day in December leading up to Christmas Day. So I'm just going to make a promise to everyone here uh, going into December. I am going to... Wait, you? I, you? Yes. Well, just save them oh, after. Yeah, yeah. Save them after. This is the promotion. It. This was the deal. Wait, dibs. I talked with the sponsors. Okay, if you guys are I got involved, dibs on twenty. You guys are involved in those talks, <laughs> then you could make calls, but you weren't. So I want to take the Santa Santa one. Yeah, twenty five. I am Christmas going. To, I, I for Christmas season, <laughs> I'm going to fuck each and every oh, one of these. God. Or sorry, bleep that. I'm going to <laughs> open each and every one of these. <laughs> Every day of December and tell you what they were. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> you got a twister in there. You got the standard Ono hole. I don't do you know. Mean? I actually do not know what's know. in each one of. Them. I'm. I'm. I. I am as clueless as anyone. I imagine they're the egg. They got to be something. Well, I bet you they're they're some eggs, some other small, some things. other smaller. It's got to be know. sleeves. They can't be the big ones in there. It's I don't too, know. Too <laughs> um, maybe they're not all for you, Rocco. Maybe some could be for mm, your partner. No, this uh, promotion is for one person. Oh, they, it's a master. That was the deal. And collection. again, if you want to be part of those talks, <laughs> solo get involved. But you weren't. Um, okay, gotcha. So. I'm planning to bring this into December and uh, I'll keep everyone posted each week. (laughs) And what my plan is, is to not explain any of this to Sean and just go into it every week. And oh yeah. So that he is lost completely on what is going on. (laughs) So, uh, thank you. He never takes him home. This is just, I mean, this is a special, the greatest Christmas season I've ever, ever experienced. This is a really special gift. Thank you, Tenga. Yeah. So thank you, Tenga, and uh, can't be couldn't be happier to have them on board. I just makes me emotional. You know, the holidays always <laughs> give me emotional. Yeah. emotional. But this is really meaningful. You wanted a white Christmas, dude. Oh, uh, Kevin. Were, people <laughs> saying people saying pro 
Jesus, cool. Kevin. God damn it. Some things you just don't say, man. <laughs> People said promo code. We, we, we're, they are, we're setting that up. Where There will be. We'll so work get, on that. get your checkbook ready. But I just want to let everyone know for December, this is going to be what's happening. <laughs> Any last minute Christmas gifts you need. You know, every, we'll every, we used to do readings at every show at the <laughs> end. We do the Milton Berle <laughs> book or the Mr. Yeah. Bean book. Yeah. This is the new book. The good book. The book of relief and release. So, all right. Thank you, everybody. It's been a great show. <laughs> yes. Good night, Johnny. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Should we? I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we, we've. What else is there to say? <laughs> oh, come all ye faithful. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> the, the fucking fade, dude. After show. What? <laughs> Still doing the fade. <laughs>